all right good morning good afternoon good evening to every one of you i have to stop that video right there in case you want to go watch the full video you can go to trust tv news on youtube you can watch the full video right there you know you can see that uh presenter <laughs> ah now uh, you can see that presenter you know i offend anybody from beginning to the end he was asking questions fear not let her come up for his question you know only question and in the area of journalism, if you face only questions, you can never, ever, forever have enemies. And when you play that role, your country can never, ever be better. From beginning, go watch that full video. From beginning to the end, he was only asking questions. But Tinubu says so. How do you want him to do that? Where did he come from? Kenneth, what are you saying? Okay, all right. What are you? Question, question. Uh, uh, it shouldn't be like that. You know, the media in the United Kingdom are not like that. They ask you questions. They tackle you. They put you in the uh, 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 in 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 a very very tight corner. They they put it under pressure. That is how a journalist is supposed to be. Asking a question from beginning to the end, you know, concern me. You know, let me that question might tell you to me. You know, concern me. You know, concern me. I know I fall for trouble. I know I create an enemy. Not be my problem. May you answer everything by yourself. Not be me. The ah 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 Nigerian media. We did the apple. The situation, all the affair to now. Eh? Everybody, all the rough show that they make friends with everybody. Now, one life all of us go live now. I'm not try to tell you your job. Uh -huh. Now, what you study, I study. I understand the media. You understand the media. But if you are doing this, I'm doing this, everybody is doing this, we are not going anywhere. Then who is going to ask the, 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 the government? Who is going to ask them or put them under pressure? Who? Nobody. That's what is currently going on in Nigeria. If you guys that is listening to me right now, if you noticed, the only people that is putting the government under pressure right now is the people. Because we are talking every day, pouring out our, our, our plight, our dissatisfaction. And if you go to the media, the only person that is that stood out, that is saying it how it is in the media, is a uh, uh, Rufai or Sene. Everybody else, it not be my problem. Oh. It not concern me. Oh. Talk can make you go. Minis Dori show. Thank you. Oh. God bless you. Tinubu na my friend. Oh. Obi na my friend. Oh. Atiku na my friend. Oh. Kwan Kosyo na my friend. Oh. I don't want to offend anybody. Oh. I know. Ah, ah. We're in a big trouble. I'm in big trouble. It's very sad. I was I was, I was listening to Adetundu, Adetundu, that vocal lady that, that always said Iris. Uh, she was talking, I think, speaking yesterday concerning the lady that died in inside the lift. You know, so we talked about them the other day. You know, I don't know whether we'll talk, discuss them for you. At least we'll discuss them. We'll discuss them. So the lady went there for a side lift. She come to talk to Sawolu, the governor, and the the wife we visit there, you know, and everything. She was very very bitter on that particular video. Maybe I'll bring on later on. But there was something she said there that I like because that's my the words I always use all the time. She said most of the people who do they fear for the past say they don't want to talk me, they don't fall for trouble, they don't want to talk me, they don't die. You see, many of them don't die. As I hear that word, I was like, wow. This one, I'm waiting me, they talk every day for my platform. Abi, she, they watch us. Now, today, I watched the video. Abi, yesterday. Either yesterday or today. And many of you, they listen to me right now. This is what I talk about every day, right? Some of you, they listen to me right now. You don't want to talk. You don't want to fall for trouble. You don't want to talk. You don't want to die. And there are people like you, we no one talk, we don't already die. That thing we they not talk, put that created more um, hazards that led to their death, one way or the other. 
You see, you don't want to talk about this cup. This cup finna kill you. You understand? You see this cup I also. It finna kill you. Because you don't want to talk about them. But the coffee away they decide. She can kill you later. You know the truth. You don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. Mr. A, B, C, D don't want to talk. Then let's swim in it. Now, now we find ourselves so. Then we go see people where they talk around, they sort them. People where they use their platform, they talk. Some Nigerians are using their platform to talk today. When I go to the platform, now they sort everybody. And you don't go free talk. You'll see my panelists will come here, they can't talk, express themselves. You they cause them. Like somebody yesterday, or day before yesterday, one of my caller called in and somebody commented on the comment session, say this caller demand. I have to block the person. With that, I didn't talk about it. I didn't even, because I was annoyed. Why you say this caller demand? Because you don't talk him, how you want me to talk him? And you now, you don't come out. You are not talking. You see that uh, uh, presenter just now? Now that area is just that. I don't want for, I don't want, no, everybody that my friend do, I know, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't go die for Nigeria matter. Nobody is dying for Nigeria. Nobody did die for Nigeria matter. But it's our country. It's our country. The country where you hide put today. Now, person, I laid, now he creates that country. Now he fight for that country. Now people lay their life where that country take better. Now I make you hide for them. The form will do got there. Say you too know. It's sad. It's sad. Just watching that journalist. For me, I'm so sorry. I, I, I will not watch people like this that often. Except somebody who I value so much go to their platform. I'm not going to fit now. I, I, you, you ask questions from beginning to the end. Uh, okay. Okay. What do you now think? What do you... You want to be better. You want to be better than everyone, right? Now you good pass. Now you there go. The only person will go hail you. Now still the satanic politicians. They'll say, oh, you are doing well. You are doing well. It's not like all the medias, the way they run their medias, insulting us. It's not done anything, you know. But you, you are very, very good. You're professional in your in, in, in your path. And I love that. Well done, well done. They'll give a handshake and give a head develop. That's all. That's why there's no truth in the country. That's why they're already planning now to in fact end social media. I felt talking the other day. See, these people are planning, they are they don't know how they want to stop them. They don't talk now. See, they want to try to make them make them reduce some things and all that, blah, 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 and all that. Okay, but meanwhile, before I post out a link for people to join me, let me bring this in. You know, so I don't see why they talk and say these people don't plan around social media, they don't know how they want to do them. But let me quickly bring this in so that you can see what uh, uh Tinubu government are already planning. Let me bring it in. It's just that um I already have it here with me, but I'm trying to take some advert off because there's a lot of advert on some uh, sites, you know. So I'm not a fan of it, you know. So I just it doesn't have anything to do with me, but um, it distracts me a lot when I'm trying to uh, read what I'm reading. Okay, let me bring this here just to, you know, you know, anything we'll talk for here, we'll try to back them up before now say, now nah, lie, oh, you can't deceive. Now. We don't do that. I don't have any reason to do that. Okay, Alake wants social media regulation strengthening. Okay, that's him right there. Unano, I'm not right. Okay, uh, now tenable cabinet, now then we they see so. So let me just quickly because not because of this one I come, but I just say my quick take this one. As you can see right there, yeah, Abuja, Mr. Adele Alake, one of the ministerial nominee, has advocated for the strengthening of laws regulating the use of social media in the country to prevent abuse. Alake currently special advisor to the president on special duties, communications, and strategy, said this when. He appeared before the Senate Committee for screening on Wednesday in Abuja. The social media has two sides. There is the negative and positive side, just like every human endeavor. The positive side, we all know, like the instant spread of news or propagation of news, which is faster. While the negatives, however, the downside 
is that is so detrimental to the good and decent society. He said, Aleke said, the media laws in this country had become so weak that even victims were uninterested in using them. He continued, unquote, that is the first thing I will do. I will strengthen the laws and application of those laws. I will support anything that comes from the hallowed chamber on laws. I will support the strengthening of regulations in my time as a journalist and editor for 10 years. I learned that there are laws that guide our conduct in every end of us, but the application of these laws has been so weak. Even victims of labor, aspersion, defamation, and all kinds of negative hesitate to apply the law on copyright, he said. Aleke added, have been on the editor's chair for several years, and I'm not interested on that. So he went when they were screening him. The first thing we say want to do, I want to reduce many Nigerians on social media. I've heard talking before, say uh we get inside that for everywhere. I talk him, but now now they can confirm and now they let you know say now their plans might be this. But meanwhile, we have a uh, a bigger one to read for you. But before that, I would like to quickly appreciate every one of you. Thank you very much. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you right there. Mother of all, Mommy Diaspora, good evening to you, Mommy. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you always, always, always. Mother Patricia Tagbojomi, thank you very much. Good evening to you, Madam. Madam uh, Iris Finest, thank you. Madam Martina Ambassador TV, thank you very much. God bless every one of you right there. Then I would like to appreciate um, those of you that uh, uh, super chatted me, Mary Forde. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you, uh, Peggy Modi. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. God bless every one of you guys. Uh, support what we are doing. Press on the dollar sign. Support what we are doing. We really do appreciate every one of you. Um, I've tried showcasing names already on the screen, but I would like to quickly mention one or two names. I can see Ola Kunle Alabi. Good evening to you. Uh, Madam Ellie, I can see you. Evie Jack, I can see you. Michael Abba, thank you very much. Madam Naomi Bella, I can see you, Madam. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Omo Sunday, CXL, Peggy Modi, and God bless every one of you. Engineer Francis, I can see you right there on the comment section. Looking forward to seeing you on the panel. Uh, Mr. Johnson, Emmanuel, I can see you. BTV, Nigeria, Jacob Obedient, God bless you all. Rita Godwin, Vitos, Equebelem, thank you. Eddie Felix, Eddie, thank you. Father Evangelist, man of God, good evening to you, sir. Thank you very much, my good people. Please press on the like button, help us to share. Thank you, thank you, my wonderful people right there. Williams Winner, we can see you as well. Mr. Joseph Oji, thank you very much, sir. Good evening to you. Good evening, my good people right there. To press on the like button and help us to share. I can see uh, Stella Ima Semedo. Good evening to you, man. Thank you very much. Love God is my strength. I can see you as well. Thank you very much. Uh, Amaka Fujabi. Good evening. God bless every one of you, my good people. And I can see uh, there are more people, but I'm not going to mention all names because I've showcased so many names already. Princess is right there with us. Thank you very much. And uh, God, I go bless every one of you right there discussion channel tv i can see you as well thank you thank you thank you thank you mary for day once again thank you and god will bless you now press on the like button let me post out a link so we can take it from here mr ike i can see you right down the comments is just coming in right now good evening to you sir uh we've missed you it's good to hear from you thank you very much Shukuna. so i can see right there good evening to you thank you very much my brother yeah tony madukate and god will bless every one of you good evening good evening good evening my people uh do your part press on the like button let's do this prince mass clinic i can see you as well you're just coming in thank you thank you thank you my people and god will bless you now all right let me post out the link and let's take this one together so we can start talking we've been here now for the past one hour 20 minutes all right, a link I've been posted. Click on that link and join us here. Let's talk if you want your voice to be heard. So I get the answer just coming in. Thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, good evening to you. All right. Um, no, no, I'm not saying my coffee. I'm not the user of the play. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take it from here. Let me bring this on screen so we can take it together. Let me put this, uh, I can see people joining me already. I'll acknowledge you guys shortly, but let me quickly bring this on screen. Uh, what we want to talk about, I need to take this because um, 
One moment, my people. Where, where are you there? Okay, yeah, I got it. Oh, bear with me, bear with me, my people. I will accept you guys in just now. Just bear with me. Let me put this on screen first. Then I'll come to accept you guys on the screen. Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay, let me put it right here. I'm going to take this together. Let me put it right there. But let me quickly accept those people already with me. Um, I can see... Uh, I have uh, Moses. Thank you very much for joining us. Good evening to you, Moses. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Hello, Moses. Your your network is not pleasing. Hello, Hello good, Hello, good evening. I'm fine. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll come back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Uh, Mr. I, thank you very much uh, for the prayers. God bless you, sir. I just cited that. Uh, but shy, no fear, my dear sister, I can see you just coming in. Good evening to every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, make sure you're doing a part. Make sure you press on the like button. Now, God, God bless you now. Okay. Engineer Francis, thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Good evening to you, sir. How are you doing, doing today? Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty good. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. It's good to have you on the panel once again. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Yes, I have uh, my dear sister with us. Omo yes, Corner. Omo yes, Corner. How are you doing today, my sister? Good evening to you. Good evening, Mr. Elvis. I'm doing good. Thank you. I hope you're doing good as well. Greetings to everyone. Yes, so I'm good. I'm good. It's good to have you on the panel. Thank you very much. All right. Um, we have. Uh, I guess this person is a new person. Uh, Lucky. Uh, good evening to you. Uh, where are you joining us from? Lucky at Talakba. That's your name. Can you hear me? Okay, Lucky, you are not saying anything. All right, I can hear you. Okay, good evening to you, sir. Where are you joining us from? Okay, I believe your network. Because it's your first time on the panel, we wanted to know who is behind Lucky. But you can't hear me. You are muted, but you can't hear me. Okay, I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. Let me welcome in um, my brother, Mr. Alex. My brother, how are you doing today? Good evening to you. Yes, good evening, Mr. Najawash. I greet everybody. Uh, those on the comment section, viewers worldwide, I say a colocopia. Good evening to you from Amagba. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you did see your energy, Shah, but I love you so much. <laughs> what do you say, my brother? What say? What Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, if Percy did sad, you know, you went out less calm, you must smile. <laughs> you get the way you're today. You get the way you go to shake the table. You go smile, you know. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. Okay, before I we come back to orders, let's take this one quickly. You know, don't worry, I'm not gonna take much of your time anymore. We only have just two articles. Once we're done with these two articles, then we start talking. All right. So this article is very, very important, but let's take it together. Although it's quite long, you don't tell why I don't read, read long things like this. Okay, as you all can see right there, as tenable article will be await judgments. Okay, this one long ago. Okay, one of the major takeaways from the adoption of final written address by the various parties at presidential election petition court in Abuja last Tuesday was the submission of the president Bola Tinubu and his all progressive congress that the president candidate or the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, should not be allowed to participate in the rerun election should the poll be unknown. Uh, because he came toward in the race. Okay. All right. Uh, there's a bigger one that I'm trying to go because if I have to take all of them, okay, there's history here now, how and the numbers they won and allocated for people who came first and all that. Okay, let me take it from here. Okay, the two petitioners urged the court. Okay, no, I'm not going there. Uh, okay, one minute, my people. Okay, let me take it from here. Because, you know, they try to go back how it all started. You know, I don't really want to hear how it all started. Let's just take it to where, to present. Okay, the body in the new regime, because INEC was empowered and we gave evidence that it was 
355 billion naira. So it is left for INEC to explain to Nigerians it was not a technical glitch, it was deliberate for the manipulation of the election results. He said, okay, counsel to the LP, Levin Uzuoko's son, submitted that an election in which 18,088 uh, polling unit results were blurred is a very flawed election of the result sheet certified by INEC for the petitioners, he said. 8,123 were blood, some with pictures and pictures certified by them. And how can they say they conducted an election so far? Any certified true copy of, the, of any document must be an exact replica that explains why INE couldn't produce the originals of the result sheet because it couldn't have been any other thing than blank sheets, he said. Petitioners couldn't prove claim on electronic collection of results, says INEC. All right. Now, I think I'm going to skip so many things here. Tinubu sustained my victory. Okay, my victory, uh, I scored 25% and above of FCT. Tinubu argued that, you know, and today they publish all this one. So this is this day. Remember, the owner of Arise is the owner of this day. So I don't know where they are getting all this from. As you can see right there, Tinubu, uh, I sustained, uh, sustained my victory. I scored 25 percent and above in half of FCT. Then, Tinubu, I don't understand where they are getting all that one from. Because look at the date. Let me see. Uh, the date is just 15 hours ago they published this one. I don't know where all these things are coming from. Okay, but meanwhile, one moment. I'm not going to read all these things. I'm sorry. I'm skipping. Mona, not your best phone. I want to read them. It's on this day. It's very, very long, you know. All right. Um, I think I'll skip it. I'll skip it, you know, because it's too long for me. But there's another one I'd like to quickly take. Remember the lady, uh, the minist uh, ministerial uh, nominee, the lady that was initially chosen by Bola Metinibo and later withdrawn from, some said that, she was now being replaced by uh, Festus Akam. And why some said, no, it wasn't like that. It was She was replaced by another lady or whatever. Well, for me, I don't know. But the lady have responded. You know, she have responded, you know, I take how they removed her from this whole thing and all that. So let me quickly take on that. Then we start talking. All right. Okay. As you all can see here. Okay. There you go. I'll take this one quickly. All right, ministerial list, why Tinubu withdraw my nomination? Miriam Shetty, you know, don't talk, come back. Now the woman, I be this, and I say I'm right there. You know, now she, now she talk, come back too. So let's take it together. According to her, following the withdrawal of her name from the list of ministerial nominees by President Bola Tinubu, Dr. Miriam Shetty blamed life with his characteristic unpredictability for the action scene. However, she bore no ill with towards anyone. She said being nominated was a validation of her capabilities and a sign of nation's readiness to, uh, to appoint young woman from the most traditional path to office. Okay, I'm just gonna take what she have to say here quickly. Uh, add that, you're the Poshumi left and right, I'm telling you guys. Okay, Kano State born Chetty, whose nomination was withdrawn, and replaced with Dr. Maria Mahmoud said this in a statement yesterday. Okay, let's go to our statement quickly. Let me skip all this thing out of here. Okay. Okay, I, okay, no advert for you again. As of press time, no reason was given for the decision to replace her name with Mahmoud, who's also his from Kano. Shetty, however, said she didn't consider the development a setback. Awards, unquote. I have found myself at the center of a pivotal moment in Nigeria's political landscape. President Bola Tinubu, in a move that brought me immense honor, shows me as a ministerial com uh, nominee coming from the traditional conservative regions of northern Nigeria. This represented, rep represented a significant stride towards a more inclusive national representation. 
The sheer joy and pride I felt at my nomination were beyond words. It was a validation of my capabilities, a nod to my vision, and a sign that our great nation was ready to embrace a future where young women like me, even from the most traditional part of Nigeria, can hold positions of influence and power. She continued, unquote, yet life with its characteristic unpredictability led to the withdrawal of my nomination. To some, this could seem like a setback, but my fate as a devout Muslim guided by understanding, I saw it as the divine will of Allah, who I believe grant power as he wishes, when he wishes, he plans, his plans are always superior to ours. Now, I'll let that one actually talk. Oh, how they tell you move them and everything. That was our response. So I thought I should quickly bring that one in as well. If anybody care, you can respond to that when we start talking. But if not, respond to any of what I've presented today so that we can start talking uh, right now. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate every one of you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you right there. Uh, let me quickly, all right, let's go for a quick break. When I come back from this break, then we start talking. Uh, guys, I uh, will accept those of you on the backstage right now. One moment, you know, guys, press on the like button, help us to share, press on the dollar sign, support what we're doing here. And God, now God bless all of you now. Thank you very much. Momo, Latin Zoro. I know they do competition with anybody. If I offend you, forgive me. Show me love. Go to Biza Biza. Kama Bara Walo Ninu Ivekon Akombi. I know they do competition with anybody. If I offend you, forgive me. Show me love. I go show you love. Kama Bara Walo Ninu Ivekon. I know they do competition with anybody. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate every one of you right there. Thank you for your time with us. Now, God, now God bless you now. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Alex, we lost you. Uh, maybe your network have started again. All right, I'd like to start with Mr. Moses. Mr. Moses, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good evening. 
Yeah, good evening, Mr. Moses. Thank you very much for joining us uh, all the way from... Uh, yeah, thank you. You're joining us from, uh, from uh, where? What state again? I'm joining from Ibadan. From Ibadan. God bless you. Please talk to us, sir. Thank you. Concerning the tribunal, before you play, before I saw the video you played, since money I've been perceiving that uh, these uh, what the uh, the tribunal they have been compromising because I'm perceiving that they are putting pressure on them. And this man called Larry Wola, you know, is a Yoruba man. And I've been saying it several times. Yoruba is the most corrupt people. In fact, other tribes are following Yoruba. They are the one teaching other tribes. Sorry, Mr. Moses, what tribe are you? Sorry, I have to ask. I'm a Yoruba man. Okay, okay. All right, go ahead. <laughs> so it's not a, it's not a, I'm, I'm, I'm not biased. I want to say the truth. Yes. I'll be I telling see. our people until Yoruba realize that they are the problem of this nation. I knew this kind of things will happen. I thought maybe you know Wednesday or so Wednesday or something like that. They said uh, uh, this man, uh, what do you call his name? Uh, Fashola is writing a judicial uh, uh, judgment. That that is what they want to impose on the judges to deliver. Is this true? Well, there is a Europe. People, Europe, they, if they have anything in their power, they, they have nothing they cannot do. So with this, uh, with this video, with this, what we have saw, I, I we need to rise up. I've been telling people we don't need to keep silent. These people are working seriously. They want to make sure that this selected president remain on that seat, and which will be the most problem for us in this nation. Because if this president is not removed, we continue to suffer. Though he is not the president, I tell you, he's not the president because he's not recognized in heaven. But I don't know what we can do in order to make the judgment to call according to the law. Everybody knew the truth. The new Peter will be who won this election. But I don't even know what we can do. And this, I'm calling all Nigerians to arise and find something to do to this thing. Because I'm a, I'm, I'm a pastor. I don't believe in silence, especially when it comes to the things of a nation like this. You know, we have the orphan, the fatherless, we have the widows. And these people are suffering. We cannot keep silent and be looking. The judiciary, they are after, after they, are, they are representing God on heart. And that is what I want everybody to know. After God is it, it is the judiciary. After God, they are the one, they are representing God. And if they, if they deliver a wrong judgment, they will carry the cause. They are the one that will carry the cause. All the cause that people have been laying down, they are the one that will carry it. So we need to talk, we need to raise up our voice. More than this, the judiciary. If they deliver any wrong judgment, their entire generation will be carried the cause. Everybody knew the truth. Everybody knew the person that won this election. The, the judges know the truth. 
They want to sabotage the truth. And that is the reason why I have to, I, I force myself to join this evening. And I'm telling the judiciary, if they deliver a wrong judgment, they will carry the cause. And God of heaven will not forgive them. Because the fatherless, the widows, look at the orphans. They are suffering. Even many people that have been that, that, that have committed themselves to help the widows, to help these people, they are not doing it the way they're supposed to do it because they are having a problem in this nation. So we are watching there and I'm praying the God of heaven should deliver judgment upon any judge, any judge that delivers wrong judgment in this nation. I knew they have been walking up and down to, 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 to pervert the judgment. But God will give us the power to overcome them in Jesus' name. The reason why I'm saying is this Yoruba people have been mm -hmm. saying it every time. I'm a Yoruba man. Yoruba, the, it, it, it is Yoruba that, that, have, that have been causing a lot of problems. Even the inflation in the country, they are the one. I told people before this president came in, I said, you, I will mesh, I will, I will, I will, I will, you will see that it, what I'm saying is true. I told people it is Yoruba that they are giving very wrong advice. That he was following. And I said, if your bad enter there now, you will not see the worst. I've been telling our Yoruba people, if they did not change, this country will, will be the same. We continue to go worse because I find the most corruption in our Yoruba people to be realistic. We cannot continue to keep silence. Let us look from the time of Obasanjo. Even the Obasanjo himself, he wants to go for third time. If it is not a tickle that God used to truncate that, that plan, let us continue to look. Even though they will say, Obasanjo did not do anything, did not do anything in your life, they look all the money that Obasanjo gave them. All the money he gave them for to, to construct road, they don't they don't even do anything out of it. They, they just carry everything and loot everything. When I, man, some people will say, ah, this man is a Yoruba man. I'm a Yoruba man. But I will say the truth. It is Yoruba that started selling, that started selling slots. Go and ask the Awusa man. They will tell you it is Yoruba that is teaching us. And it is Yoruba that everybody is following. Yoruba have power in this nation than any other tribes. But why Yoruba continue to seek know the truth and they will follow lie? Yoruba know the truth and they will continue to follow lie. That is kind of Yoruba people. Yoruba people, you will see a righteous person and they will pay the person back. I mean, Yoruba, I'm calling Yoruba very well. I'm calling on Yoruba, the Yoruba that, uh, that, that know the truth and always say it, 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 the truth is wrong. Even among the Christians, among the, among the Christians, so the Yorubas, they are covering all Tinubu. They are the one covering. They are the one that is covering him all. And you know, whatsoever you are about cover up like this, ah, it is hardly, it is hardly, hardly, very hardly, you can you, 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 you can expose it. They are the one that came out and begin to say a lot of lies against the Peter. 
I tell God, for the Holy Spirit, the God that gave me the true spirit. In the, in the time when, when Jonathan was there, the same Holy Spirit came to me and said, Tell these people, leave Jonathan alone. What they are saying about this man is not true. I told people then at that time, you will suffer. And if you thought removing this man is the solution, the anointed one of God that God gave to you, you will suffer for it. Now look at the video you played. He, 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 the man said, he said, Yaradua is the only one who came out. That said, the election that, 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 that brought me here is, 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 is a corrupt. Are you getting all this is that kind of thing? How many presidents can come out and say that None. the election that, that brings them in is corrupt? Oh, how many? None. You can say that is how. I, I, fact, I, I, I miss Jaradua. And the same step Jonathan too want to take is this wicked people, this wicked people that 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 that, that destroy the government of Jonathan. So I am calling on everybody, whether you are in Yoruba, whether you are Igbo. Let us stand for the truth. Let us stand for the truth. Don't see a truth. Don't see a righteous person. Don't see the right person. I say he's a bad person. Until Nigeria, I, I told somebody, I said, until you obey the voice of God, God is having interest in all nations of the world. I'm saying the truth. He's having interest. In all nation of the world, because of the fatherless, because of the widows, because of the orphan. So, because of this, God is having interest. Don't let us deceive ourselves. God is having interest. So, anybody that holds the truth, God is always happy. Whenever you hold the truth, God will, God will surely happy with you. So let us hold it let us hold the truth. Let us stop lies. Let us stop following bad people. Let us stop following bad leaders. Let us stop, let us stop supporting bad people. Let us pick up, let us pick up the right things and do it. And it shall be well for our nation in Jesus' name. So, Mr. Nigeria Watch, I thank you for this evening. Thank you. For the opportunity you gave this evening. In thank fact, you, I, I have much time. We need to we need to express this thing. Even right from the from the grassroots, from the Christendom. I saw the argument yesterday, the argument about the, the religion. This issue starts from the from the religion. People do not know God. They are just going to church. You are just, everybody is just, they are looking for money. Money cannot, it is not money. Anything you want to do in this life, it is not money. I told somebody, I said, what is a leader? What, 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 what do we call a leader? A leader is a person who suffer. You have to suffer. You have to take the, 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 the you have to take the 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 of other people and make sure you suffer for them and make sure they are they, they are okay even when you are not okay as a leader when you are not okay those people under you those people that you are you are you you, you are holding, you 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 you, uh, you are the, you are leading they must be the one that you must they must be the one that will be enjoying and you will be suffer. You must suffer for them as a leader. If you are a good leader, I told them this man that was there, he just got there for fun. He just wants to make a point. He's just looking for people to be praising him. Hey, yes, sir. You are coming. He did not have anything to offer. He did not have anything to offer. Some Yoruba people are telling me, eh, if it is uh, Peter Obi, he's going to do the same thing. Is it to Peter Obi that we want to send a army to uh, army to Niger? What is concerned? 
Let us be realistic. Let us open our eyes. What you know that what they are fighting for is true. Is things that is right. These people have been shitted for a long period of time. Thank you. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Moses. Thank you very much for. In fact, I'm 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 surprised hearing all this from you for the first time uh, because I know this is not your first time on this panel. You've been with us so many times, but today the submission is wonderful. I want to say thank you very much for saying it, Iris. Especially you're a Yoruba man. I like that. I like that because uh, if the Igbo man they talk just now, people will see offense to what uh, what uh, exactly the statement that you were giving. People will see offense to it. If now me talk up the way you talk up, people will see offense to it. If now answer person the same thing, but for you to say this way, uh, I want to say thank you very much for standing for what is right. You are a pastor. You know, you're a pastor. That also surprised me because I've seen many other pastors, some of that, let me say some other pastors or some other Christians who normally say, more leave everything for God, for example, you know, and which is wrong. You know, there's a pastor that is talking right now, saying it's how it is, and he's a Yoruba man. I played a video four days ago on this platform, another Yoruba man who was saying it's how it is as well. So my people, it doesn't matter where you came from or where you come from say it how it is what is affecting you is affecting you don't cover it with a blanket just because the person that is causing it is from your village no just say it how it is thank you very much mr moses once uh, uh once again i would like to hear from um if somebody wanted to say something hold on uh, people on the panel please i'll come back to you let uh, let me take some calls a lot of people are calling in right now let me quickly take at least five calls, then we'll take it from there. Guys, please press on the like button, all my people. Currently, we have uh, 285 likes. What's happening to this? A bit dull. What's happening, you know? Let's say some of them, they tire or do they give up for this journey or something. I don't know. The likes is not there. The sharing today, we only have 12 shares. It's not there. What's happening? Uh, the likes will only have 285. Except I'm not right with these likes, though. Let me let me refresh. Except I'm not right because sometimes it happens like that. Yeah, I'm right. You know, we only have 200. Uh, it's not 286. It's very, very dull. Anyway, we have some days like that. I notice most Sundays are always like this. I don't know why most Sundays are like this. You know, um, you know, please, guys. To, if, if, if people people are listening to me, we have over 800 people listening to us right now. Nigeria Watch have about uh, 700 there, 630 there. So at least people, th th these are human beings. Press on the like button, my people. Press on the like button. Support us. Press on the dollar sign as well. Don't think if you give a dollar to our channel, it will be too small. It doesn't matter. Just support us. You know, with whatever you have, we will really, really do appreciate it. All right, you know, encourage us to do more for you. Except you think, oh, you know, you know, concern you all. I don't know. I, I don't really want to put words into your mouth. Do your part. You know, you can do your part in a different way. Like, share, support us financially. Come to the panel. Call in like others are doing. Like the people that is already on the panel right now. Like the people that is already calling in right now. Just play your role. You know, if you leave it for, I've said it before, one person can't do this job. Everybody has to join here together to make it work. That's why the country where we are today, that's why it's working. Because the poor head, they're putting the sacrifice to make it work. That's why it's working. Thank you very much, my people. Let me start picking calls. Make a couple of sad don't talk. Uh, forget the people on the phone right here. Okay, thank you very much, my people. Uh, all right, hold on. Hello. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah. Yeah, good evening to you. Thank you very much uh, for calling. Your name, where are you calling from? Yeah, Mr. Najawata. My name is Noel. I'm calling from U.S. Thank you, sir. You are following up with you the broadcast, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Talk to us. Yes, regarding just exactly what this matter just dropped now, what he's saying. We, let, us, let us reduce this... Uh, um the merit of our case oh uh peter b war peter b did the, the court improve the case and all that they have left there let us not be taken on our way this news that came in that uh, these people are 
Some people are preparing the judgment uh, 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 paper and all that. That is what it, that is where they are going. We have to rise up. Nigeria, we have to rise up. We cannot do like the time we are preparing for the election. Everybody thought that Anet will do the right thing. Mm. Anet will do the right thing. Oh, we have uh, people from here, people we vote from here. And at the end of the day, Anet failed. Yeah. Now, we are in the side of the judges now, in the court. We cannot allow them to do to us what Anet did to us. He said, once beaten, twice shy. We cannot allow them. We don't have to wait. This information that just came out is is for our benefit to act upon. We just have to synthesize people, write letters to all the embassies, and let them know these are the people that are, that are killing Nigeria, that they are out of to do it. The judiciary is failing us already. The signs are there, the body language are there. We can't keep quiet, we can't, any person that is still talking about, oh, uh, Peter Obi well, did well in the court, this one, this one, you are just wasting time. If you are for, if you, somebody, if you are pursuing a thief who to probably stole your items, stole your money, and you are pursuing from behind, you should be able to calculate where he's going there so that you, you will, you will, he will, he will meet you there. You know, Do we cannot be taken on our way. These people, Fashola and the gang, they are holding different meetings with this CGN. These people are, are out to truncate this thing by all means. But, it's not when it happened again, we start saying, oh, No, but, but um, what, do, what do you, sir, what do you want us to do then? You know, do you want us to run more than our shadow or we should wait for the judgment first before Nigerians can react? If we react now the fourth time, don't you think that might truncate the judgment? No, that will not change. We will put fear on the, these people and they will withdraw back. This, um, uh, if we if we keep quiet like this... No, we are not quiet. Are people are already country. talking about it, not just my platform. Many other platforms, um, okay. including mine, especially these Fashola uh, allegations and all that yeah. with this, with the collaboration yeah. with uh, uh, C CJN. Yeah, everybody's already talking yeah. about it for the past one week now. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I just pray we I just pray we keep that tempo because that is where the judgment is going. No person will be surprised. No person should be 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 saying, Oh, I don't think it was going to be like this. That is where the judgment is going. I, I just want to end my own and uh, No, your, your I, submission I is perfect. I Nigeria should rise up to the occasion. Thank you very much, sir. Your submission is wonderful. Very unfortunate. Thank you, sir. God bless All you, sir. Right, thank thank you. you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hello, thank you very much. Uh, love of God is my strength. Thanks for calling in, madam. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. Good evening. Good evening, um, Mr. Anaja. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, good evening, everyone on the platform. Good evening, all the panelists and everyone on the comment section. And I want to especially greet Mommy uh, Daspora. Thank you for all you do. God will be with you and every other people that don't, I can't mention sure their name, but I want to give kudos to everyone. Nigerians have done well, and I will I will say we all deserve a very good rest after our principal gets into us to work. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I want to speak about this Kurukere Waka. Kurukere, Kurukere, I call it Kurukere Waka, that the judges and the uh, uh, fashion law and was where allegedly having a meeting and the uh, army man standing in the front of his gate so that nobody can go in there. Well, I want to tell them one thing. <laughs> they, are, they want the, is that these people, what do they call Nigerians? Do they call us fool? Do they think that we don't know the law? Since this uh, court case started, a lot of Nigeria, they've read the uh, uh, Nigeria constitution outside, inside, and outside that we read everything. We know the law. So anything that they are planning to do to Nigerians, huh? I'm calling on all the judiciary, the one, especially the one that was telling us to forgive. Hey, Oga, you have a family. You will not live in this earth forever. Even the one that just said late about two weeks ago, hey, he has collected money in a lot of cases. And look at where he finds himself. He's down below the pit. Where is the money that I collected? We should think about our children. When we leave this earth, 
what will our children be doing? Where will they go and they will remember what their fathers have done? I'm calling on judiciary, the one in charge of this tribunal, tribunal case for the election. We want you people, I am saying it, that you must do right by Nigeria constitution. We will not want anything less than giving us our mandate back. We cannot continue like this. We cannot continue like this and say grace of God is working. You people know that what you, put, you people are doing is wrong. You are taking our, our mandate and somebody is sitting on it and people are singing on the mandate of holy mandate they stand. All the judiciary, I'm calling on all of you. Please, please, please do the right thing. Give both our mandate back. Don't do Kurukare Waka with this one, no. You don't go feel do Kurukare with this one, no. Ah, you don't they do Kurukare this one. You don't go feel swell one. It be like fish where get bone for neck. You cannot swell it. You cannot vomit it. As that you put it down. Peter B is the president of Nigeria, and I want to beg all the people. Like Niger Watch, Niger Watch, I want to say one thing that people don't notice about you. This man will say something, and before you see this thing to happen, this man say, hey, I don't trust the judiciary, I don't trust them, but all of us, we say, don't worry, don't worry, it's all right. Now, hey, we are begging all of you, all of you that can talk, that have a platform, please, we are begging, we, I don't have all. This is the only place I can bring out my voice. Please, all of you, let us start shouting. Let us tell them that we don't see their chilio. Their nyash don't open for our side door. Anything where they do now, we go no say Kurukare Wakado enter around. They must give us the right decision. The law will win now. 25%. All the criminal where Tulumbu do. What did the country say about anybody that's going to be the president? So anything that Tulubu is doing this time around, he has meet he has meet a rock. We are not going to agree until we get our mandate back. And Peter B goes into Asu Rock and bring this country to the level that we want it to be. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam. May God bless you. Thanks for saying it, Iris. And God will bless you. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening to you. Your name, away calling us from. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Sir, my name is Epa Otu. I'm calling from Iceland. Thank you, sir. Talk to us. Okay. Is this a, is this Niger Watch? Yeah, this is Niger Watch. You are live. Yes. Ah, uh, live. Are you watching us? No, it was my brother in Germany who sent me this con this Facebook contact because I have an issue with my Facebook and he asked me to call. He asked me to contact he asked me to contact this person so that they can help me out. That's what my my elder brother told me that. Oh, okay, okay. Send send a message to this number, then we'll, we'll get back to you. Our technical team will get back to you on that, okay? Okay, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, um, let me pick another call quickly. All right, um, I can see Chukuno, so you're trying to call in. So thank you. Can you hear me? Let me quickly. Um, Madam Amami, you're trying to call in as well. So I I'll call you back, Madam Amami. Uh, Chukuno, so I'm calling you back. You're not picking. Hello. Okay, Chukuno, so thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I just saw your yeah. call right now. Yeah. Go ahead, talk to us. Good evening to you. Thank you. I greet everyone on the panel and the conversation. I just, I just want, I want to plead with the justices, the presidential tribunal, court of appeals in Abuja, and the Supreme Court. This uh, man, this imposter, that has now become, I don't know, well, I, I don't know how to describe them, and his cabas, Lagos cabas. Please, the tribunal, they are away. Even the evidences are sufficient because I just like that former uh, woman said, we, we are all now, we are also we are all lawyers. We come to look at the constitution and everything. So this man has snatched our mandate. And this man, <laughs> this man, after snatching it, he had, first of all, he grabbed it. After grabbing it, he snatched it. 
then he now wants to run away with it. Israel should know that Nigeria will crumble, and this military coup that we are now talking about in Niger will happen in Nigeria even before two or three years. I'm telling you because as long as the insurgency and the economic uh, crisis is just mounting up, it will happen. Tell so them, oh, so tell them, people. tell them. Yes, I tell them. I beg judiciary. Make make them not allow these people, this kappa, because this Lagos kappa is worse than the Castina kappa. It's not allow people to, to, to run away with our mandate because this Nigeria is already on the precipice. They know because we have this urgency, they've weakened the Nigerian army, they've dis destroyed the economy more and more. More people are now starving. So please, judiciary. The evidence is before you. It is it's, it's too clear. It's too clear. So there is no beating around the bush. Please don't let this cabas run with our mandate. Thank, Thank you. you sir. Thank you very much, Ashukuna. So God bless you. You see, we are talking about Mali, other people, Niger, they are, you know, uh, whatever, cool, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't want to go there. But if we don't want the same thing to happen in our country, we got to do the right thing. Judiciary, do the right thing to save Nigeria. It's very, very important. Good evening to you, Madam Maomi. Thank you very much for calling. Yeah, Please talk to us. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I'm calling from the UK. My name is Maomi. Good evening, Mr. Nigeria. Thank you, ma'am. And well done for giving us a place to lend our voices. Thank you so much. God will crown our efforts and we will not labor in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You see this thing? <clears throat> I am calling on uh, Justice Ariwola. I'm going to speak in my dialect, please. And please. I will translate. Of course. You. No, go ahead. Justice Ariwola. Ayini mufe basoro. Tore yi go gong le wani di go gong koto shele. Pata! Everything about this election, this man is the one behind it. Yoruba ni mi o, okolo kwa Yoruba pata a vote fun jinumbu. Three quarters of the Yorubas, of the Southwesterners, even eighty percent of us, obila di bofu a di bofu jinumbu. Enyoko le kwa ye wa koko sapo. For how long? That is just not very diplomatic. Electric, lui. Rain, ni lui, ni baba ti ni mbuti nko go bayo sako. A wanko nan wu ni lekson ye. O bila di bofun, bo gwa wa yoruba pata. Yoruba to di bofun baba ti ni mbuti nko 20 percent. Ek be mandate, ek be le lawo. O bila wu in, orokwe Nigeria, e ibo le rain. No, you can't say that. Baba ri wala. Emma Jacob Quayi di Equiola, Emma Jacob Quayi di Equola, Emma Jacob Quayi di Oshiola, Emma Jacob or Quayi di Adanola, Bob Bonco Bruku Pata Pacala ye. Then you'll let it go, Quayi. Emma Dasila Lurile de Nigeria, I said, I'll go silo. Justice Ariwala, you want to cause boy in Nigeria because or a tail or a tail of a cake, O my dinner repetani. In koto ma kwi na ijiri ato ma da ogun ati ote sile, le fe da sile ye. A de ni gba fun yin. This generation is a different generation. Justice Harry Wala, don't bring war into Nigeria. You are behind. You are behind everything happening about this election. You are the one behind eh, Tinumbu. Ah, fe Tinumbu. Eh, le fi tipa tipa. Eh, le fi Tinumbu le walonu. Ntora adi bo fun. Enter the Bofuti alone, no. Toma Shebu Bonkotara Madewa, only Peter Obi, only the Bofun, but by one more day we attack by Ladi Bofun, Kilo de Kilo de Taberes in Walara, and Yaye Walara, and Fia Jewa, and Fushita Taurine de Nigeria. I have been in this country for over thirty something years. To come on, I'm always at home. So come on holidays. I, I, I stay here sometimes five, seven years. I don't come home. Unto rimba te yon ba wale, a monto ma, a wang ji ni be, ton ko wofun yi, ton ba ji yon be ton, e yinon ko wofun. 
If they terrorize people and steal people, they, they bring the money to you, Justice Harry Wola. I am challenging you. If you don't know about it, you Did you dishari? I'm not begging you. I'm only talking to you. We are aggrieved. We are in pain. We are not happy. The way you are riding the horse of Nigeria, why, why you are leading us so we are not happy? Everybody is hungry. There's hungry in the land. There's sorrow in the land. There's pain in the land. You can't come and impose somebody on us. Ah, Nigba, we won't take it all. Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Return the mandate to the owner. If we would rise up, we would send you away from that seat. We would take our country back from you. Military regime, that's a question. I want to make my job by a lower in tobacco, tobacco, basile, friend Tony. They will rise up against you. Tony and Fia Jawano. I want to learn one in one and full of woe. That is my view. Judiciary, do the right thing. Thank you, ma'am. God bless you. Thank you so much. Justice Ariwala, Egbe Sile, Egbe Sile, Egbe Sile, Molo Molo Motu Boke, Bogbe, Egbe Sile. Hello, thank you very much, Madam Joy, for calling in. Good evening to you, ma'am. Please talk to us. Hello, hello, everyone, my people, great people of Nigeria, well meaning Nigerians, obedient nation, Nigeria Watch family, my great family. I greet everybody, including all the all the intellectuals, I thank everyone. Mr. Niger Watch, I will always say this, you will never lose your reward. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For all you do for us and for your nation you love so much. And when I keep telling them, you cannot give what you don't have. Exactly. You can only give what you have. For a whole year and going to six months now, you have devoted time and hour and this when if we put this in money all those people that are stealing and eating our money they will not be able to they they have not worked as hard as you do so it boils down to if you if you have the heart you will do it so the people we have at the office of power they don't have the heart they don't have what it takes to do good they don't have anything to offer Nigeria. That's why we are in this quagmire. That's why this, this nation is, is at the verge, at a cliff, because when you have a boogeyman, a, a phagocyte, a kleptomaniac, it cannot give you anything right. Now, let me come to the judiciary. You know, we've been here personally, I've been here for a few months, you know, so I can't pride in being here for long like you, Mr. Niger Watch. But something happened to me yesterday that sent chills to me. I'm like, oh my God, what is this? Mm. Now, ah, oh Jesus. I came, it, it was like a light bulb. I came to this sudden realization like, so why were we even thinking? Why, why, how did it come to our mind that judiciary may not do the right thing? Do you know that that on its own is, is like, is like, oh my God, with all the evidence, with all the pain, with all that is going on. So for us to even vote and consistently, I have seen this vote come out and people do not trust this data is is scary. It boils down to the fact that, like Nigerians are in danger. Nigerians are in danger because of the judiciary. That nation is in danger. If this uh, it is no longer it's no longer Mahmoud. It is no longer. Um, uh, I for some reason, this name keep Mr. Agbado. Let me use the name that you know comes to my mouth, mouth very easily. It's no longer about him because if judiciary, with all this evidence, that means they have these people are doing what they are doing because they know 
that judiciary is evil. So, but as we all are here thinking about it, reminiscing, and some people are even saying, please, judiciary. Can, should anybody even use the word, please, judiciary, to do the right thing? I am, I'm, my body has been shaking. It's like there is this wave of shock that came over me. I say, oh my God, is that what, is that what this is? That is possible that these people may do the wrong thing. That's why now, they are delaying the result now. Me. That's why they are delaying yes. it. Now I say this, so the fact that they have even delayed this is, is like justice delayed is justice denied. These people have proven that they can do they can do worse than Mr. Mahmoud. They have proven that they can do worse than Agbado that has stolen the mandate, paid everything. Because it is not about, let me tell you, judiciary, it's not about where you paid, where you cajoled. It is because you can do you can do evil. So don't do this evil you plan. Every Nigeria is now aware that it is you judiciary that is holding now we are saying oh hold the head, remove remove your neck your leg from our neck nigeria needs to bridge judiciary and i can want to address to every nigerian that look you see we have we have fooled ourselves for a long time to think that we have we have a country mr Ariwala has already told us that we, there is no nation so there is no nigeria everybody you are on your own think think nigerians no stop stop using every any manner of excuse protect your land protect yourself protect your heritage protect everything and know that you never had anyone back in you wake up every nigeria wake up whatever you think is what doing to save your nation I am talking to well-meaning Nigerians. I am not talking to those that have joined to, to drink the, the, the red, whatever. I am talking to those that know that there is that they can save themselves. I maybe I will stop it here. I rest my case. Thank you. And I thank you, Mr. Niger Watch, for giving me opportunity to thank you. you know express thank you, this feeling. Thank you. God bless you, ma. Thank you. All right, callers, that's it for now. I'm sorry, I'll come back to you guys. You know, um, my panelists, all of them are waiting. So let me go back to the panel now. Thank you very much, everybody that's listening to us right there. Please do your part, press on the like button. It, uh, earlier on, I asked also to take care of two something you did. Currently, it's on 327. Yes, if you can continue to press on the like button. I'm not talking about the people because sometimes when you talk about pressing, pressing, some people that have already pressed on the like uh, button normally continue to press on it, not you. We are talking about the people that is listening that have not hit the like button. Those are the people we are talking to. So if you know you are hearing my voice, you never press that thumbs up, that like button, I beg, press on it. You know, it means that our voices will go far. We have lots of ignorant people who believe when we ask for like we beg for like every day they believe that you know youtube pay us for likes no you know that's why i say ignorance i'm not insulting you ignorance means that you're not aware you don't know anything about what we're talking about you know if you know you are not ignorant do your research about it what why why do youtubers or anybody uh, broadcasters ask for likes on youtube the answers are everywhere you know, you know, there's there are things that we can easily sing. So pressing on the like, you know, it's just for your voice to go far. It means that YouTube will recommend this video for others to hear your voice, to hear your contribution, to hear my contribution, to hear all our plights. That's what it means. That's why you see, I ask for likes even more than asking for you to super chat me. You see, normally, you know, as opposed to be asking for super chat me because that one I'm money, but the light means that we need to hear our voice is better. You know, so please, the light is something that we talk about seven days a week. Press on the like button, help us to share, and uh, press on the dollar sign. We post that, uh, we, we um, showcased our um, bank account details earlier on. It doesn't matter whatever you want to put, there. if there is 1,000 naira, sometimes we showcase our accounts, nobody put anything in there. 
we, as you all know, if you put something there, we'll simply come here to acknowledge you. You know, as long as I didn't come here to acknowledge you, know that nobody put something in there. Try to support us. To be honest, support your prayers are going a long way. That's why we are here today. You know, we have the energy to talk. You know, it's by the special grace of God. You know, but your financial support will also help us give us the uh, the energy, the enthusiasm, the belief. You know, to continue with this journey. I want to thank every one of you. Thank you very much. Thank God. Now God bless you now. You know, uh, callers, please hold on for now. A lot of people are still calling in right now. Let me pick two, two persons from the panel to speak to us. Regina Francis and Omar here. Then I'll come back again to the callers before I'll come back to other people on the panel. Regina Francis, thank you very much sir, for your patience. Please talk to us at eight minutes. Thank you very much. I actually think I might even need more than the eight mm. minutes. But let me say this first. Mm. Uh, okay. Chief Justice Arawala, you have made a mistake. Great. Remember that saying, it's good to make mistakes, provided you learn from it. You've made a mistake. You knew about the 25% FCT requirement of the Constitution. You were a part of the Supreme Court that even rendered judgment on that before. You've made a mistake, you went and honored the wrong person. Fine. This is the time for you to correct that mistake. Don't go and dig yourself into a deeper hole, please. You have seen, even with that mistake you've made, look at, it's barely about two months now. Look at where it has landed us. Starting from a fuel subsidy on the very first day, to even this situation in Niger. Please, let me give you a good idea. If uh, Niger were to decide to start some kind of, uh, maybe some nonsense project on their part of the River Niger, and that project results in the water from River Niger not flowing as, I mean, flowing much slower. Do you know that Nigeria is crying because we don't have enough electricity right now? That will cripple us completely. And then if they decide to make that a dump site for this, their uh, radioactive waste from uranium mines, guess what? All the water coming from River Niger will be radioactive all the way into the ocean. And then ask Tinobu when he is going to Niger, does he have an alternative to electricity for Nigerians? Because if he goes and those uh, hunters decide to do that to uh, River Niger and stop our flow of water, we have a problem. And if he should go, please let him bring back the 303,000 Nigerian refugees in Niger. He cannot be going to attack a country that has that kind of population of your own people. US, before they attack any place, they will evacuate their citizens first. Why is this man rushing to do whatever he's rushing to do? And then, let me bring this one to your attention. In fact, this one, I will place it on France because it looks like this man doesn't think right. He always thinks the crooked way, all the way. And now he's going to drag the country into that crooked way. France. Do you remember uh, during the time of uh, Ronald Reagan when you guys decided to pull the beers out of South Africa? Believe me, when I heard that you made that uh, unilateral decision, not waiting for the U.S. to pull U.S. companies, but you pulled your own com country. Do you remember the... Uh, what you guys said that time, you apologized to some extent, 
of exploiting South Africa. Now, let me ask you, what is Arriva doing in Niger? And how can you justify where they pay them 13% of the export value of the uranium they get from there? Is that not exploitation in its worst kind? In fact, as I was reading about a river, there was one quarter of one year, a few years back, where they took in 42 billion euros, which is equivalent to Niger's budget for 21 years. What kind of exploitation is that? And then, do you remember that uh, Imo Urarin area of uh, Niger? It's about 80 kilometers south of uh, Arlet. The, uh, that your company also, French company, Orano, uh, closed one of the mines there in 2021. Now they came up with a method to be used to rehabilitate the heaps of uh, those partially radioactive waste from um, decades, about 40 years of exploiting uranium from Niger. Now, the biggest problem you guys have is that up till now, whether you have paid uh, or given, uh, what is it, Bazoom, some money for it, it has not been done. And even with that plan, you guys were supposed to cap, you know, level and seal the uh, area with a five, I mean, two meter deep uh, cap. That is waterproof and waterproof uh, clay and sandstone. Up till now, it has not been done. And then even your own company, I mean, your own uh, uh, watchdog, that commission for independent research and information about radiation, the C-R-I-I-R-A-D. Your company, that CIRAD said, they described what is going on in Niger as the sword of Damocles. And in the Greek mythology about the sword of Damocles, if you say that something has the sword of Damocles hanging over its head, that means it's no longer a question of if, it's when it will strike that person, that something bad is happening. That was the result, uh, the report from your own commission. Yes, you guys are working with Bazoo, but let me ask every French person that can hear this. What did you guys do with the spirit of Edouard de Labolais? Remember him? In 1865, he was the one that he's a great uh, French jurist, actually, and an anti-slavery activist. He was the president of the French uh, anti-slavery society at that time. He was the one that came up with this Statue of Liberty to acknowledge and encourage Abraham Lincoln on the Emancipation Proclamation with regards to abolishing slavery. He is an, it was an, a very strong advocate of the common law of free people, which the idea is every person was born with inalienable rights, sacred to freedom, life of, I mean, uh, rights of, to life, freedom and pursuit of happiness. Well, where is that his spirit in his descendants, you guys in France? What are you doing to Niger? And then, please, whatever you guys do, help Niger. As a matter of fact, I feel like the spirit of that, your ancestor, Laboulet, is crying in his grave now when he sees what you guys are doing. Go to that uh, uh, part of uh, 
Niger. I think it's uh, that same area that is uh, south of Atlantic. Do you know that they have serious health problems? Not that do you know, you do know. Because Sherpa, which is a French, uh, a French organization, even told you guys the same thing, that the illnesses and what's killing them around that uh, Imo, or rather, or that athlete area, he told you guys that they have direct links to those radioactive uh, emissions and the, uh, all those materials that come from that, which you guys did what you did, but nothing has been done. So removal of this bazoom from power is not political anymore. It, these people are fighting for their lives and for the future of their generations. Because whatever you guys paid him, he didn't do it and the people are dying. And here you found a stooge in Tinubu and you want to use him to go and fight those people. Tinubu, how stupid can you be, by the way? Do you not have advisors that can just look and study a situation and see what is going on? We have our brothers up there in Niger that are definitely fighting for their lives. You didn't even look at that. You are looking at uh, democracy. Forget democracy. Where is democracy when you uh, apply and you are no longer in the world? These people are looking for survival. And if you should bring up that uh, uh, ECOWAS issue again, I wish I would be near you. I will knock you in the head. Because that is inhumane. No matter any amount of money you can get, it cannot justify what is going on to Niger. Where a company in one quarter made an amount that is about their 21 year budget and that's from what they extract from that land and you are uh, you even have that uh, humanity in you to even show your face to the uh, world talking about that if you want to talk about that believe me this coup uh, plotters in niger you can easily negotiate a good situation with them bring France to the table, bring them to the table, and go back as, as much as you want to. France, you guys owe these people this much money. And you, the military hunters, you will hand over your gun. And you, you can now go back, but if you will sign a document that you are not going to go back and start persecuting them. You can easily negotiate a very simple peace accord between all those people. But the most important thing is that thing that is carrying the main anger in the people of Niger, which is France. Please invoke the spirit of that your ancestor, Edward, uh, La, I think his name is René Lefebvre de Laboulet. Invoke his spirit. That man is Whenever I think of France and how good they are, I that's the person I remember now. And Justice Ariwala, let me give you a, a very let me give you a very simple uh, idea. Assuming I'm in a, a bar drinking, and then a descendant of uh, Justice uh, Udo Udoma comes to the bar. Guess what? I'll buy him a bottle of beer too. And then let's say another person walks in and he's a descendant of Justice uh, Oputa. I'll buy him a drink. But if someone else walks in and is a descendant of Justice, uh, what is it, Chima, I will break a bottle of beer on his head. 
that's how I will feel about you guys if you pervert justice here. It may not affect you, but it will affect your descendants. Anybody that comes after you from your lineage will suffer it. In fact, although I'm not uh, advocating that, but it's just to give you an analogy of what I feel and I am sure I am not alone. So you take whatever and do whatever. Yes, you might live and then uh, all those people will be uh, just saying, okay, you're welcome. The moment you're gone, believe me, they will start breaking bottles on the heads of your descendants. So for a better Nigeria, stand up. No matter how you justify it, you have made one mistake and we are suffering it now. That mistake you made started on that very 29th because that was when subsidies was gone and life became horrible for Nigerians. Believe me, gone are the days when people will dance to your tune because they are poor. Now, when they are poor, as a result of what you do, believe me, it won't be long before you collect your own water water. Thank you for now, Mr. Nida Watch. Thank you very much, Agina Francis. Thanks for your uh, submission. I appreciate you. Uh, God bless you, sir. Thank you. Uh, that was an in-depth uh, uh, submission right there. All right. Uh, let me come to uh, my sister, Moyes Corner. Please talk to us. Good evening to you once again. I'd like to hear from you. Good evening. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Engineer Francis, for your submission there. Um, it was truly apt. Um, I want to start by reading just a quick uh, excerpt from um, uh, King, the letter from King Leopold of Belgium to the colonial missionaries, 1883. You can Google it up. It's there for anyone that's interested to read on the issue of, you know, religion. So if I if I may just take that really quickly, if that's okay, Mr. Elvis, is that okay? It's just very short. I'm going to take it really quickly and then I'm going to talk. That's fine. Okay, thank you very much. So, reverends, fathers, their compatriots, the task that is given to fulfill is very delicate and requires much tact you will go certainly to evangelize, but your evangelization must inspire all Belgium interests. Your principal objective in our mission in the Congo is never to teach the N-word, the black people. I don't want to use the N-word because that's what he used to know God. Let me take that again. Your principal objective in our mission in the Congo is never to teach the black man to know God. This they already know. This, the knowledge of God, they already know. They speak and submit to a mungu. It was the name of a God that they knew existed at the time. One Nzabi, okay? One Nzakomba. And what else I don't know? They know that to kill, sorry, to pie, to sleep with someone else's wife, to lie and to insult is bad. Have courage to admit it. You are not going to teach them what they already know. Your essential role is to facilitate the task of administrators and industrials, which means you will go to interpret the gospel. Please listen to this. In the way it will be the best to protect your interest in the part of the world. For these things, you have to keep watch on, disinteresting our savages. That's what they describe you as. 
from the richness that is plenty in their underground to avoid that they get interested in it and make you murderous like if the african man realizes the potential they will now turn around and turn against you competition and dream one day to overthrow you i'm going to leave it there anybody that wants to read the rest should go and read the rest i want to thank mr moses pastor moses i want to thank him so much if he's listening god will bless you mr moses whether you like it or not god will bless you because the truth is the religion the true religion is truth and love if you don't have this i don't know what you have as africans we have been complacent in our destruction completely and utterly complacent these people came with their own borrowed the christianity that you practice already existed within your ancestors you dare not steal back in the day at least i had grandparents who told us stories and mothers who told us stories and fathers who told us stories when you're coming anywhere you're coming from if somebody lo loses something you know what they used to do they would draw a circle around that thing nobody touches it when that person is coming from wherever journey they are coming and they have to walk past that place then they will discover that thing you dare not steal you dare not take what is not yours these things already existed in in our spirituality as africans so when some of us when i speak for myself now come here and say we need to go back to the drawing board to the way of practice of our fathers if you want to keep your christianity please by all means do but one thing remains you cannot exchange truth and love for anything else i don't care how much of a christian you are if you cannot see the truth and speak to it you're part of the problem even your bible tells you when you see your brother doing a wrong and you don't call that person to order, you are just as guilty. We are, how do we miss that when you're reading the Bible? When some of us come here to criticize the evil of our society, I've never been a vocal person about politics. I don't care for it. I've never been interested. I've been utterly complacent about it. I'm guilty. But when a man that, that represented truth showed up with lots of wisdom look at the number of truth tellers that were silenced that have risen up you want to call that a coincidence it is not a coincidence my brothers and sisters please when some of us are talking it is never personal truth does not discriminate that's one thing for sure it doesn't discriminate if you're a christian muslim traditionalist and I agree with Wale Shoyinka. Our traditionalists have been silenced. Look at what is happening in Osho. I don't practice their religion. But who am I to tell somebody else how to, pre how to practice their religion? Those people don't disturb anyone. The traditionalists never, apart from all these a tradition is that I've come to Yahoo Yahoo people that will be looking for someone that they will do mixed helps to and say you will get rich today for those that are looking for material things. But these people never disturb. They are being discriminated again. It has never happened. They do not inter they don't disturb you when you are practicing your Christianity. They don't disturb you when you are practicing practicing your your Muslim religion. Traditionalists, our ancestors worship. They were very careful about human life. Why do you think there were no disastrous wars in Africa? Why? Because they prioritized the life of a human being. Our forefathers did not believe in destruction. They were careful about lives. My grandmother was a matron in the village. She used to say, if, if somebody comes to meet her and wants to have a child, they had the capacity to see into the future of that child. They would tell the mother, the child that that mother is bringing 
into the world. And based on what they tell the mother, that's how they're going to name that child. Are you kidding? You want to tell me that the spirituality of our ancestors is nonsense? And you want to, when you close your eyes to pray, who do you see? Do you see a white man with white beard and all of that? We need to be careful here. We are trying to fight for our own. We cannot be taking one step forward, 10 step backwards. Everything has to be relearned. If you want, whatever religion you want to stick to, stick to it by all means. So I agree with Ole Shoinka without missing words. I don't. I agree with all these comments that he made, hundred percent. Kenneth Okonkwa, God will bless him. When truth speaks, lies hide. The interviewer was a. In fact, I don't even know if that one is an interviewer. I don't think he's a journalist. Because all he was doing was just parroting questions, parroting questions. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is why we have a problem. The media house that is supposed to represent the truth to the people, you don't even have the capacity, you don't have the decency to do that, to sensitize your people. And you're a northerner. You suffer the most in that country. Only Rufai, one person, it is embarrassing. It shows how low we have gotten. Where we only have one person in the media house that is consistently telling the truth with all the threats that come down, that comes that man's way. Your, the Bible preaches also, for you, if you want to gain your life, you have to lay it down. What does that mean to you as a Christian? What does that mean to you? You are guarding your life. You are afraid. You don't want to tell the truth. You don't want to stand for what is the truth. You don't want to lay your life. What does laying your life down mean? What does it mean to you? I am very glad that they are not sending troops in. It's supposed to be 24 hours by Sunday. They're supposed to be sending troops in. I am pretty sure that's not going to happen. I don't know. I'm just holding on to that because I don't want, I do not want any more liquid on the ground in Africa. It's time up. We need to start seeing ourselves as one. We need to start thinking about how to rebuild. And I stand and I restand. Religion should practice your religion in your bedroom with no apologies to anyone. We have suffered. Is it the mental slavery itself that has happened to all of us? Look at us. We are interacting in English. Is that what is supposed to be happening? Are we not supposed to be speaking our language in the way that all of us can understand each other? And you think that's a flex? There are people who have children. Their children don't speak a word of their language. It's a bragging right. We need to unlearn a lot of things. We are tired. We are not, we keep saying we are not our ancestors. Prove it that you're not a, your ancestor. There's no, it's, it's never personal. It's about the truth. If you have not seen enough suffering, I have. When I see people be, every day, quack, 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 like seeing a mosquito, if you know they do you somehow for body, I don't know what else. In the, in the midst of this evil, all the pastors, the GOs, all of them are silent. And you don't want people to speak? It's not possible. When the vengeance comes, it will start with the so-called leaders, pastors, all of them. It is your duty when your pastor is going on to call them back to order because they are human first. In the countries that you and I live in, when a pastor does something wrong, he, he now by himself, they confess to the congregation. He could say, this is what I've done. I'm sorry. Because of that, I'm stepping down. Has that ever happened in, in, in Africa? Has it ever happened in Nigeria? No. Instead, the members will come to their defense. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. They'll be shouting and chanting. They'll give you a bad name. We need to stop. On top of borrowed religion, your own ancestors even did it better. How many lives were lost during your ancestors? Yes, there were terrible things about our history. Of course, we can discuss that. 
That's why as, as the generation, we need to be renewing certain things. We don't have to do the same thing our ancestors did. That's why you have a right to choose whatever, whoever you want to worship. However avenue you want to worship. But you will rebrand what it is your ancestors have given. Science was in our hands. My grandmother, we used to go to the farm. The woman would look at the sun and tell us how, what time it is. She used to know everything naturally without anybody telling her. How did that happen? God existed in Africa long before anybody showed up on that, on that, on that, uh, in that space. I am hoping that the judiciary will do the right thing. But if they like, let them not do. I am not part of those people that is begging them. Please do the right thing. Don't do the right thing, judiciary. Because they have eyes, they can see. They have ears, they can hear. They have relatives. I be, all of their families cannot be uh, wealthy. I be, some of them, I'm sure, have uh, relatives in the village that don't have water, no electricity, no education, nothing. No, they should not do the right thing. Me, I'm hearing that Fashola, Wiki, allegedly, all of them, they are go, go, uh, looking for ways to, to subjugate, to go and meet the judiciary to, to try to compromise. These people are hastening. They, they, are, they are hastening their downfall. They don't know. Where a people are united on that one front and their will is unbendable, oh, you don't want to play with it. People will literally lose their minds. I'm telling you, if, they do, if the judiciary does not do the right thing, they will literally lose their mind. The chaos that will come, they will not be able to handle it and there'll be no hiding place for them. You see all these our politicians that think that the West has their back. Uh, this man is crying. We hear that he's saying they should send more security for him. He's afraid that he could. He never sabi anything. Those people, when they will turn on him, the same people that are sponsoring and are pushing you, go, go, go and fight your brother, go and fight your... They will arm your brother. The same people. They will sell equipment to them. They will even sell the one that is more superior than your own. You think Nigeria has not been in their target's eye for a long time? They have. It has been... They've been looking for ways. Do you know how long we've been hearing rumors of what, 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 what problem is going to come in Nigeria? Problem is going to. Do you know how long we've been hearing that? It's been a long time coming. Do you know how long they've been prepping for it? Why do you think they took away Gaddafi? Gaddafi was the only one protecting that region, that Sahel region. He was the one strategically protecting it. And Gaddafi was ready. And Gaddafi was singing for the unity of Africa. Look at what happened to him. The African leaders were on their way to go and broker peace. Guess what? Your Western leaders called them and said, where are you going to turn around? What does that tell you? These people have no interest in you. They gave you a religion to drain your brain so that you would never think. The countries that we live in, how many of them do you see making noise, shouting on the street, waking people up till the a.m.? With, with bells and whistles. How many of them do you see? Even the, the Muslim religion, you go to their country, serene. What are we talking about? They turn brother against brother. Because of that, till today, Museveni is almost crying about it. They told them, go back. What did they do to... They, they turned the Libyan people against Gaddafi. Look at what Gaddafi... Look at what Libya is today. Look at what Libya, people use, Libya was a once wealthy, extremely wealthy, oil-rich uh, country. Its citizens, if you know, if you come up for so you never go, they, they pay you in dollars, in their own money, when it's strong, pass dollar at the time. Please, you see the judiciary, let them be playing. If they let me, they pull goggle for I, may they not, may they toss it, they not see, may they toss it, they not hear. They are crying about could they never ready it will spread there is a video already circulating they are coming for they are naming countries they are coming for let them be playing they should be thanking god for peter be that he's been quiet and he has told us you know calm down don't do anything there are people that have nothing to lose anymore they have pushed people to that limit can you beat a child and ask that child not to cry 
they, they have pushed people to that limit. We have a bunch of losers running amok in our country. 70 ministers, one person. What are you doing? Who are you ministering over? Who? We are hearing money we have, we've never heard in our lives. Where the money is going to, we don't know. The West will come suck all everybody dry and give you peasants, peanuts, and tell you that they are giving you aid and everybody is clapping for it. We better wake up and know what time it is. My own thing with these African leaders is if you are partnering with Russia, it's all good. I don't trust any palm colored person. If they are coming, you are coming to them because you want to do business. It's all fair. As long as that business is fair and they are not using it as a backyard way to come. Everybody keeps saying, oh, uh, you, these people were never part of. They had some activities in Sudan because they're very, very, very sneaky about it. You don't know. They won't put it out there. They had some activities in Sudan. So please, judiciary, don't do the right thing. Okay, if you like, let the money that they give you, the billions that they give, you, make it hukuna for truth. Ma see us now want to spend the money. We all now want to spend that. There will be no hiding place for any one of you. Matter of fact, they, that will be the end of the Western judicial system in Nigeria. Maybe it's about time because I I cannot stand those wigs and those gowns that you people wear under that hot blazing sun. Maybe that's why you people cannot think very well. Judiciary, don't do the right thing. I will yield here. There were so many videos. I can't remember half of them, but the ones that come to mind that I wanted to touch on, I have touched on. If I remember when it gets to my time and I'm still here, I will speak on it. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kai. I'm a yes gone now. Thank you, my sister. Thank you for... I have to deliberately leave you to, to pour out everything in you. Yes. Thank you very much for saying it, Iris, for your analysis, for your references. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate every one of you right there. Uh, Madam Irene, you are back from your appointment. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate you all right there. I can see Pius Moye. Thank you very much. I can see you. Grace, can you do? can see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my people right there. Let's move on to quickly hear from others. Yes, uh, give us a mandate, my brother. Happy Sunday to you. How are you doing today? How was your day? Give us a mandate. You know, you bless you, you're not near your computer. Can you hear me? Give us a mandate. Okay. So give us a mandate. Don't take off. You know, you don't be like saying evil day, evil day near computer self. You are there, and but we cannot hear you talking. Thank you very much, my people. Please help us to share this broadcast, you know, and like as well. It's very, very important. I like Mother Patricia. I see you earlier on. I see you don't still vanish, but you not come the panel. But I see you for comment session. I be. I I think I agreed to you earlier on. You know. All right. Um, like I talked on before, this Sunday, Sunday be as it gets. Monday to Friday, the hot, 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 hot. Then Saturday, it go come a bit slow. Then Sunday is slow. Where where? Wait till they happen my people what people mean, are resting you know people have to go sometimes they just cheat. So sundays are usually very relaxed days but for that's what people. i need now i want to have my evening I, I i want to have my evening i want to go out in the evening i want to go dinner in the evening i want to go drink coffee not the one where they drink for us in the evening for the past since april last year i never get my evening out is is somehow you know, when I see people are resting, like you said, my sister, I, yes, you know, it's a good thing. Me, myself, I want to have evening out. For a year plus, I never get evening outing. Even though you don't need to go club or go party, you can just drive out on your own. Go watch football somewhere. And, you know, uh, or go see anybody. Evening outing. Now only after now the rush go do anything I want to do before three or two I don't reach house. I pray oh, may God never let may God never let any of us labor in vain. 
in Jesus name amen because this sacrifice now make me tell, tell you now say my people <clears throat> there's no guarantee god forbid we run meanwhile they talk to on us so i not go fit guarantee anybody say me go fit do this one again for anybody it's not possible how how are you even aware if maybe they paid me to do this i'm not going to do one like this i be mean, never get people where you pay me they do give you service the service they're not still doing well if I was paid to do this from beginning, maybe old Peter will be young, give me 20 million naira, say, do this job. There must be some lapses. You know, go still pure like this. It's the truth. If you want to know, use your domestic worker as Tendo first. Your cleaner, your gate man, your cook, or whatever. Use them to know. Your carer, you know, your nanny, or whatever. Now then you'll know, say, you know, go work finish. Because you pay them, there must be, la be some lapses. For you to see, there is no single lapses for which they not pay me. You know that this is a, an extreme consecration, and it cannot. You can't see this kind of extreme consecration repeat twice. It's not easy. It cannot. I, I'm sorry. For me now, that was okay. This one don't finish now. No, another person, you can say, okay, my start all over again. My do this. It's, it's, even though the person pays, not possible. Is is draining. Is draining to do this daily. Most times I come on air. I'm not. I'm not even prepared. But I have to when I think that people are waiting for me. When I think people and what especially that what we are fighting for will never see them. I'm one of the people that is praying. May this judiciary of everything make we come off a road. Let me myself have my life first. So people will say, no, you didn't make money from me. You, you're, you're, if you are part of the people, you are your head not correct. I'm telling you, your head not correct because if you say that they make money from me, make me myself, they pay you, may you come out every day, 365 days in a year, every single day, especially six hours. Me, I promise you, me go to pay you. How they give you, uh, let's say, I don't know how much I would give you per day. Shaman, I'm not going to talk with you. But I would give you at least $30 per day. <laughs> Man, I say $30 every day. May you they come out every day. $365. You cannot. So don't be forward to say that they pay you. Nobody where they go, they pay where they go come out every day. Who? You they see Rufai, they come out every day for uh, for a rise. You they see, uh, 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 what do you call them? Um, uh, uh, Sheun, they come out every day. Tell me any of their presenters or correspondents that comes out every day. These guys only do three days or four days in a week. So that's why I normally say, if you don't recognize my what I'm doing, my dedication, I will praise myself. Yes, I will. And the good thing about it, many of you recognize it. Now, only those few satanic ones that can never recognize it. And they cannot do it. Come out every day. It's not, may they even they pay you $1,000 every month. May come out every day, 365 days a, a, a year and spend minimum of six hours every day. You cannot. And they will take the most, the most important part of the day out of you. What is the most important part of the day? You know, not in the evening. In case you don't know. So please, always encourage people. Your words means a lot. You coming to people's platform to speak trash sometimes is not good. For me, I'm looking forward to all these things to end in our, in our good, in our favor, by the special grace of God, so that everybody can breathe. Before this, Peter will be matter come. We did come out, we did do our broadcast, but not be like this. Many of them now they follow me for a while. Now I see, see every single day, me every single day, I go do one. Eh? I, 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 I want to do one. Eh? It's not easy. Sometimes, you know, not be everything that you talk on air. Eh? Sometimes I'm not even feeling well. Yes, sometimes on broadcast, I'm not feeling well, but I have to put on the mask just to make sure everybody is fine. To just say, okay, let's do this thing. Is what I've chosen to do. Not be by force. Nobody forced me to do it. Thank you very much, my people. We are getting there.
judiciary do the right thing. I appreciate you. God and God bless you. Now continue to press on the like button. Help us to share. Press on the dollar sign. Support what we are doing here. Uh, subscribe to our channel. If you are listening to us right now, press on the uh, notification button to be notified whenever we are here so that you'll be notified. And uh, join our membership uh, program. Then um, it remain one. I don't forget. I'll talk and join later. Thank you very much, my people. Now, God, I go bless every one of you. So let me move on to the next person to talk to us. Uh, give us a mandate. I called you earlier on. I don't know if you're available now, but even though you're available now, I'll come back to you. I want Mr. Ike to talk to us first. Mr. Ike, thank you very much, sir. Uh, it's good to have you on the panel. Good evening to you, sir. How are you doing today? Hey, my brother, God bless you. I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. Um, Thank I you hope that everybody in the panel is doing good. Our family are good. Uh, yes, we are good, all, especially when we have you here. We are already good. <laughs> <laughs> we bless God, my brother. Uh, I just want to stand on what you were saying before you, you pick a call and went to the video. I want to tell you what is, what is your strength is your good intentions and your motivations for a better Nigeria. That is the strength that you have. And it doesn't matter what anybody says, you know, if you if we are doing something that is good, people will always have something to say. If you are doing something that is bad, people will always say something. So um, uh, the Bible says that those that walk, they have to eat. You know, a man that walk it is equal to his wages. So mm. If anybody is not happy that you make money from what you do, let the person go and kiss electric pole. You know, yes. because um, all of us are working, right? Uh, um, why I have not been here many times is because I'm working and also because of time differences and because I've been away for one month and one week. There are so many things on my table that I have to meet up the years coming to an end. So yeah. on each and every one of us is working. So do, does anybody know what it costs to, to build a platform? You know how many years you have been on this platform. So anybody that is talking about about money or you you make money, what what do they want you to make? They want you to make sand. They want you to eat sand. Or, Thank you. Or what, what what is it? What what is that? You know. So, uh, my brother, it's just you so your much. good your good intentions for a better Nigeria is your motivation. And also, I want you to remember there is a divine connection to your life to what you are doing. You see, because people people like you, you know, they are not recognized until when we don't have them anymore. You see, today we are talking about Captain Tamo Sankara. We talk about Jerry Rollins of Ghana. You know, there are a lot of great men and women in Africa we talk about today. Uh, when they were here, we people call them all sorts of names and they don't understand their mission and, their, you know, why they are doing what they're doing. But at the end of the day, uh, they become something that we have to use to, you know, correct ourselves and, you know, use it to develop the future. So, my brother, I want to tell you that uh, people like you, um, there are very few to find. Um, care, less, care less much about what people say. People will always, even though you cut your hand and mm. give to somebody to eat, the same person who eat your hand will come back and say, look at that crazy man. He think, uh, he think he's smart. So, this is, this is, this is life, my brother. So you just right. do what what is good, what gives you joy, what gives you happy. You see, one thing I want to say here, that a lot of us are still alive today. We don't know where we are still living. It's not because we, good, we eat good food. It's not because we are living in a, a decent environment. It's not because we have money that we can afford to do whatever we want. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, is that of the good things you have done that you've even forgotten that God is using to prolong your life, that people will be able to learn from you. Sometimes it's the good you do that you are not expecting return. They are the reason and the source that keep us alive. You know, but those good things that we do, we're expecting a return. Those things doesn't add any value to your life. There are so many, look at what they're just saying here right now. You have never had any night life almost a year or getting to two years. What a sacrifice can be like that? What sacrifice is greater than that? How many of us can do that? Like as you are saying, okay, if you know you can be here every day, let me be paying. Even though you are saying you are going to pay them 100 euro every day, nobody's going to do it. So, my brother, just 
just just just do what you are doing and uh, you know the race will become a, a history for and story for all of us who have come to know you and who have come to become part of what you believe and through here we have met great men and women have have come across of a lot of great men and women intelligent smart nigerians you know people that have learned from them so many things so my brother i i give you an accolade my brother god bless you I, you know regardless of what people say you 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 are fighting for a better night you can decide to pack this up you will always make a better you will leave you will do whatever you want to do you know you still have a good life so my brother is well you know so thank god for you and um i want to thank my fellow panelists like thank I said, you very much sir. before you thank your panelists i just want to let you know that uh your words are very very powerful and uh, once in a while, I like to hear words like this. Is a strong, strong words uh, that can encourage somebody, uh, you know, to do more. You know, uh, that is a huge recognition. You know, if you, uh, like you just came in right now and you put money in my account and you didn't say anything and you contributed to just the topic, I might not see this one because if you ask me to pay for this, I, it's, it's going to be very expensive. So I want to let you know, I value this because you actually went to the deep, deep side of it to, to let me know uh, the other side of what I'm doing. You know, yes, I'm very, very encouraged. And I want to thank you, Mr. Ike. You're an elderly man. And especially when this is coming from you, so I will never, ever take it lightly or take it, uh, should I say, I will not take it slightly or, or uh, ignore it. It means a lot to me. It will even give me more strength to do more. Thank you very much, Sammy. God bless you. All right. Um, I, I want to thank my fellow panelists who has, you know, given you also the, the strength to be here every day. You know, I don't want to mention them because if I don't mention other people, now now Wahala they look for. But I think um, every, every of them know that, you know, I appreciate all of you for what you are doing here, trying to encourage Elvis to be here every day, you know, and uh, if 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 all of you are not coming as i'm not coming maybe that will be a sort of encourage discouragement but every day i hear the same name every time and i just want to thank all of you for for the time you spend in doing this for a better nigeria you know i am i am really honored to be part of it and uh, i know that our labor will never be in vain it doesn't matter uh whatever the game or the the run circle they are trying to run but we know that we have them in our hands and uh, we we believe that they will do the right thing like as people have said heaven is not going to fall uh, if they do the right thing heaven will still stand still and nigeria will be a better country you know um, i think it will be an opportunity for us to free ourselves from the hands of few evil men and women that have hold this country into captive that have made us to hate ourselves, that have made us to reject the blessings that God has given to us as Nigerians. So I really, really, really appreciate everybody. Um, listen, I, I want to say that, um, you know, I, I want to talk about Nigeria going to Niger. You know, um, I want somebody to prove me if there is anything going to Niger has to do with us as Nigerians. Uh, are we, is there anything that Nigeria is going to gain or lose if there is a coup in Niger? I need somebody to prove to me why we should go into Niger. You know, we have had queues in Mali. We have had queues in Burkina Faso. We have had queues in Guinea. Where is the ECOWAS when all this one is happening? Why this one? Why this one is so special? And I think I know why, because the, the man there is looking for legitimacy. And they think it is by going to Niger that he's going to get the legitimacy he's looking for. But sorry to disappoint him because he's not going to get that. And because by the time Nigeria tried to go into Niger, you will understand that countries like Algeria, because I know that there are armies already in Niger, countries like Egypt, countries like Libya, you will be, begin to discover that these countries in Africa, you will see, you will see all of them in Niger defending Niger, and they will, you know, Nigeria will be beating 
you know, black and blue, you know, militarily in Niger. Because if our military, if they think that they have the power, what, what has happened to, to Boko Haram for this year? The insecurity we have in Nigeria, you know. We have about 250,000 Nigerians in IDP camp in Niger. Why do we need to go to war in Niger? Nigerians run into Niger for protection, about 250,000 of them in Niger, in IDP camp in Niger. And we want to go and fight a country that are having their internal problems. I don't see how it affects Nigeria, you know. So I think that the people that are pushing, they will push him into the gutter. You know, they're going to push him into the into into the grave that he he did for himself, because it is not that you will see politics, you know. Because the people from the north would they they would never ever wish that they voted for this man that they want to go to war in Niger. You will see what Nigerian politics senators will do. Even though they said no, they have said no, but Ababio is walking around the club to convince them. But I think that this is the only thing I think that they can be able to achieve this year, that they didn't support this man going into war in Niger. You know, so I think that this is this this is the last straw of what this man is gonna do before he's kicked out of that place because he's not in the first place, he's not supposed to be there. It's not supposed to be there, my brothers and sisters. It is clear. Listen, I'm not a lawyer, but all of us, maybe most of us don't even know about law, but this election and going to the tribunal has made all of us lawyers. You know, so I think that the evidence is so powerful, the evidence is so clear, the evidence is so overwhelming that I don't know where the judges is going to run to. I don't know what they're going to want to use as a defense to do what they're not supposed to do. So if they decide that the, it is the life of the few Nigerians is more important than them, than almost 70% of Nigerians who rejected this party and the man that is there, then we shall be able to see what is going to happen at last. But at the end of the day, I think that the judiciary, they must have to do the right thing. And what is the right thing? Do the right thing. Let the man who win the election be given the mantle of leadership to lead this country and nothing less. So anywhere they are trying, any politics they are trying to play, we are watching them. You see, their fear is that as we are talking, they are hearing the judges. They are hearing us. They know everything. They, 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 they are hearing the voices of Nigerians all over the world, telling them all eyes on the judiciary. We are watching. They should do the right thing. And that is where we stand, doing the right thing. So, Brother Elvis, please, never get tired. We are here with you. We are standing with you, Thor. We shall stand with you to the end. And when we stand with you to the end, we shall all sing and dance the songs of victory together. These people can never continue to hold us down. It is only in your country called Nigeria that they have somebody who said it was he was three years when he went, when he went to primary school. It is only in your country called Nigeria that you can hear such a story. It is only in Nigeria you can hear somebody say that I have so many certificates, but I decided to bring some. It is only in your country called Nigeria. You have about seven of them that have, that are, have questioned, that are forced signatures and has questionable and criminal, you know, signboard that is on them. They are the same people that are being recycled for you. Their children are now committee members in the House of Representatives and Senators. Who do they use? The same Nigerian people. You will go and carry guns, kill people for them. You will go and snatch ballot boxes for them. You will go and kill your neighbor. You will go and destroy properties. You will go and snatch resort and change resort for them. And then there are the people now who are committee members and you cannot afford to buy gasoline or petrol for your car, even though if you have a car, you are the same people now who is complaining and crying. The people that you killed for, the people that you snatched the box for, they have forgotten you. They have moved on. It is not between their family and their cronies and their cousins and uncles and friends. Where is your position? The people that you killed, the ballot boxes that you snatched, the result that you ordered and changed the result, where is your compensation? Your compensation is that all of us, 
are in the same camp right now. But we are better than you because we were standing on the truth. So because we are standing on the truth, no matter how difficult Nigeria is, we will always overcome because we are the children of light. We are standing tall with the truth. We are standing tall with honesty and capacity and sincerity, and nothing is going to change it. Hungry will never kill people. The patriotic Nigerians in Nigeria will never die of hunger. We will never suffer because of what these people has done, that the, the evil politicians that their children has taken over, the National Assembly, they are the people now that are making laws for you. So as long as we are standing on the right part of history, we will never suffer with them with this kind of situation Nigeria is. We will be there, but we will always overcome. At the end of the day, we will never beg bread because God is in our side. Truth is on our side. Honesty is on our side. Sincerity is on our side. Evidence is on our side. Better Nigeria is in our, on our side. So why, would, why are we going to suffer with them? But I'm only reminding those people who snack boxes, who altered the result of this election, who caused the mayhem, who made a lot of people bleed to the polling station to catch their vote. And at the end of the day, you told us to go to court. And we have gone to court. And if you don't give us the result that we are supposed to be the result, if you don't deliver judgment for 75, 70% of Nigerians who believe that this man is an illegitimate president and he will never be my president, even in debt, if I close my eyes today, you come tomorrow, you hear that brother Ike has passed away. This man is never my president and he would never be because he did not merit my vote. He did not get my vote. He did not get your vote. He did not get the vote of 70 million or more than 70% of Nigerians. So who made him a president? I don't know who made him a president. So we are, we are standing on the side of history. And history will follow us to the end. So those people who have given them this mandate that they are not making law, the children of evil politicians, corrupt politicians, they have been recycled to bring back, to make them ministers. After being governors, after being everything that have been in this world, after stolen our money, their state money and everything that they have taken, the same man has gone to recycle all of them because they are of the same... You know, they are in the same group. Now you want to make them minister. Their children are taking are making decisions in the National Assembly. And you are crying. About those people are crying every day on, on social network. They don't have money to buy food. They cannot afford to buy petrol. They can't buy gasoline. Everything is expensive. Look at Lagos. That you used to have a lot of ghost road. Now Lagos, people are driving like as if there is no more Lagos. People have abandoned their cars on the, on the, on, on, in the yard because of the cost of living. So there is nothing that the judiciary is going to tell Nigerians. All we need is the true result of the election. Call the vote. Tell us who win the election. We know who won the election because the evidence is there. The people that conducted the election have nothing to prove to anybody. They have no evidence. Even the election that they conducted, they broke the law. The law that they made, that they themselves, this is what they're going to use. They broke that law. And therefore, they have no evidence that this election was free and fair. So therefore, we are asking the Nigerian judiciary, our eyes, our eyes, see me, see my eyes. I see I'm pointing my, our eyes on you, judiciary. You must do the right thing because if you don't do the right thing, I am telling you that the revolution you are going to see in Nigeria, there is no nobody is going, nobody is going to protect you. There is no country that is going to protect you. If you think that America and France and Britain they are the people that are going to that, that, was, that there is no way you are going to go anywhere because already you want to go to fight in Niger, which means you have closed every road where you could have run away under the under the border. There is no way you are going to run through the border anymore. Because you have decided to go and engineer a war in another country, internal problem of another country. So there is no hiding place. We are living all over the world. We have Nigerians in England. We have Nigerians in America. We have Nigerians everywhere in the world. So wherever you think you're going to run to, there is no hiding place. We're going to pursue you. We're going to pursue you to the net of the, of the cat. 
and we're going to get you and you will come back to tell Nigeria why did you carry justice? Why did you have to do miscarriage of justice? Because you are giving money, because you are afraid of your life. If you die standing by the truth, what is wrong about that? Stand on the Niger sit on the Nigerian Supreme Court and tell the world that this election was rigged. They did it in Kenya. That, that chief judge is still living. The whole judges who did that, who, who pronounced that judgment, they're still in Kenya. So you can do the same thing. Nothing is going to happen to you because 95% of Nigerians are solidly behind all of you. But if you decide that what you are going to do is to impress people, and because you are afraid of few people, we are going to we are going to chase you. We are going to chase you any hole you run into. We are going to chase you into that hole, and you will come back to tell Nigerians why did you do what you did. So I am not I am not I am not moved. Whether he want to go to Niger or anywhere he whatever he want to do, I am not interested because. He is looking for legitimacy and he's not going to get any legitimacy and nobody is going to give it to him. Even the people that are following him, they're going to abandon him at the last minute. The northern people will have, the day there is a, a shout of a gun in Niger, that is the day that the Nigerians in the north is going to abandon this man. They will abandon him on the middle of the road and he will have a no place to run to. So I am telling him that the best thing that he has to do is not to go there and waste any life of Nigerians. We have Nigerians have lost so many, so many lives, and we are not ready to go and lost any life on a stupid war that has nothing to do with Nigeria. We have nothing to do with them. You have an agreement with Niger. You cut off their lives. You have broken the accord and the, the agreement he made with another nation. Don't think that what you are doing is the right thing. You didn't do the right thing because there was no meeting between both of you before you take off their life. You have an agreement. So I don't care what they are trying to do. I don't care who are their cowards, like we are saying. Who are their cowards? The same people. He committed the political coup. What is different from what is happening in Nigeria and what happened in Niger? What is different than what is hap what happened in Togo and what, hap what happened in Niger? What is different between what is happening in, in, Af in, in Côte d'Ivoire? Alassane Ouattara was one of the leaders in Africa that was respected. Until when 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 Babo was there, he was crying. When he came back, people were having an Africa. Look at him right now. How many years he went to change the constitution? Look at what is happening in Senegal. What is the difference between the political suicide coup? You commit. Do you know how many lives Nigerians have lost because of the because of the bungling of this election? You know how many lives we have lost. You know how many families that have been destroyed. The hope of so many people that have been dashed because of just one or two people. And you're talking about military coup. Don't be afraid of military coup because it's coming to your doorstep. Because when you go to Niger, other countries will initiate it in your own country. And when you come, that nobody's going to save you. The same people you think you are their commander-in-chief, they'll turn their gun against you. Because, because you don't deserve to be a commander-in-chief. Because you did not deserve it. You didn't work for it. You didn't... What... What, what program did the LPC have for eight years that would deserve Nigerians to give them a second chance? What was their program? They have nothing to offer Nigeria. So this election was bungled and rigged for them, and they will return it back. The mandate of the population of Nigeria must be returned back. If they cannot return it, well, they, should, they, they, they should watch it. They should wait and see what is going to happen. We are coming down because our principal say, I am going to follow the due process. I am not challenging the man who is there, but I am talking about the process. We are following the process to the concluding end. And if the conclusion of that of that process is didn't give us what we think that is the, the answer, we are not thinking, but they, we, we are not just thinking, but the evidence is overwhelming. If they do otherwise, well, they should, they, they should wear what is coming for them because wherever they run, wherever they think they are, we are, we are with them anywhere. Anywhere they decide they want to go, we are there with them. So we are watching our eyes, judiciary. Listen, our eyes on you. If you like, do the right thing. If you like, collect money. I don't care how much they have given you. The money you they gave you can never give you life. The money they gave you is not their money. It's the money that belongs to me and you and your children and grandchildren. Therefore, if they're giving you money, keep that money. When our principal takes over, return the money for the good of Nigeria. And you shall be able to recognize, they will, the government of Nigeria will recognize you as a dedicated and patriotic Nigerian. 
So whatever you think that you're afraid of, Nigerians are solidly behind you. But when you do the right, when you refuse to do the right thing, sorry, and nobody's going to be with you, my brother. Nobody's going to fight for you. You got, you're, you're going to be, you're going to be like a vulture. You know, you'll be perching from one place to another. There is not going to be any resting place for you. Let me tell you. Let me end. The Bible says there is no place for the wicked. You know, you, you there, there is no, you, you can never run away from the wickedness of what you have done to destroy the hope of more than more than hundred million or two hundred million Nigerians because of about one percent of Nigerians. There will never be any hiding place for any of you because there is no peace for the wicked. I raise my case for now. Hmm. Yes, there's no peace for the wicked. Wow. Thank you very much, Mr. Ike, uh, for your submission. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Let me take this call quickly. Good evening to you. Your name away calling us from. Hello. Hello, madam. Hello, Elvis. Yes, ma'am. Good evening to you. Okay, because I mean, that's our uh, our grandma right there uh, calling in to uh, pray for me, you know. So uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Good evening to your name. Where are you calling us from? Uh, Mr. Seydou. Oh. That's uh, Kusman. Calling from Abuja, right? Yes, I'm calling from Abuja. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I remember Mr. you. Uh, good evening, Mr. Najabo. You are doing a great job. Uh, I would really appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Um, I was going to uh, advise to go to judiciary. The first thing, let me say to Anik, Anik Chiyama, I voted and my vote is not count. Wherever you are, anytime I say to fund you, I will hold you responsible of my vote. I, ca I cast a vote my vote was not count and you hold me that's that's the only that vote you hold me let me tell you i struggle i not feeling fine i struggle to go out to cast my vote and i struggle to go to every polling unit believing the mr Niger vote or be one one the vote in abuja hold Hundred percent. Even if that four hundred something they declare is not, mm. in one more than one than a million, I go to any polling unit, and they declare a bill all of an every polling unit they declare him one. We follow one after the other. I cast a vote, and they do not count my vote. I did not see my. They did not announce my vote. Because we voted to count that, I say million more than a million for B. You know, don't count it. So anytime I see him, I hold him responsible for it. He's going to pay me for that. I'm telling you, from not, I'm from not. Believe me, anywhere I find you, I call you responsible. I beg, I, I beg, use uh, 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 your local dialect. Uh, talk to him. Go understand that language okay. properly. Yeah, yeah, that, that, 
Chenari kika awo itseri kiri ganka. Kadaji sunana se iduni. Kemanda ari wani ni ari wada na ari wani. Koi namu hado wala tere chenari kika. That is for that. Thank you, Mr. Juju Shari. Please, I'm begging you, Pupu. I beg you all that time. I'm repeating my word again. I'm begging you, Pupu. Did fully give Christ judgment how it's supposed to be? Or be is the owner. I know how, what you are going to do. The judgment is for the those that will be. If you fail, you are disappointing us. You are disappointed the youth. You are disappointed the people of Nigeria. Judiciary, no matter anywhere you hide, you will give account of your your, your wrong judgment. If you like judge, right? If you like don't judge, right? You will give account of it. When the days come, we are going to go after you. You will give, give account of you. You are going to give account of the vote to vote. Give judgment to who deserve judgment. Mm -hmm. Give judgment to whom won election. Simple. There's nothing that we're going to take that. We're not going to take anything from you. Thank you very That's much. That's all I expect from you. I'm, Goodbye, sir. I'm very happy to hear from you this evening. God bless you, sir. Mr. Helvis, Mr. Helvis, Mr. Helvis. Yes, Mr. Helvis, Mr. Helvis, Mr. Helvis. Uh, uh, Mr. You Helvis. were with the call since we not see you. My brother, us... my family matter, my brother. My brother. I if I call you behind, I go, maybe if I if I get your number, I'll call you behind and tell you what I do. You go understand, <laughs> say. <laughs> so you guys, I just have to interject so that you can know that I'm here now. Sorry about the old um, thing. No, no problem. I, I'll come back to you now. Um, I just want to thank that my brother from Abuja, my northern brother. Thank you very much for saying it, Iris. Uh, that's the same thing you did now is almost the same thing that uh, Mr. Moses did earlier on. You know, I like to hear from the people that is, you know, when you are speaking the truth, regardless of where you come from, you speaking and you standing for the truth, then you are my friend. That's me. You know, you can never be my friend if you are biased. You can never be my friend if you are fraudulent. You can never be my friend if you are corrupt. Yes, I don't even need you. That's just the truth. You know, everything about life is vanity upon vanity, in case you don't know. Yes, billionaires, trillionaires are dying every day. So why do you want to have friends? People surrounding you, and many of them are into different kind of dubious activities. You know, creating happiness for themselves. Why? Others are in pains. I like the people that always say it, Iris. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, every one of you, if you are hearing my voice right now, if you know you are standing for what is right, and if you believe that we only have one life to live, and you also know that death is inevitable, thank you. Because you don't have anything to lose by doing the right thing. But you have everything to lose by doing the wrong thing. Thank you very much. One more person is calling us. Let me come back to the panel. Uh, this person, I'm trying to quickly return your call back so that you can talk to us. I just missed your call right now. Um, let's see if this person will pick quickly. I'm not sure who is behind the, the phone. Good evening to you. You called us just now. Turn down your system, sir. Okay. Good afternoon. Good, good, good I'm evening, sir. From, uh, I'm calling from New York in America. My name is uh, Alex. Talk to us, sir. Two minutes. Thank you. Uh, what I want to tell you, Niger Wash, you are a very wonderful man. We all of us, we support you. We pray for you, for your success. Thank By you, the sir. grace of God, your effort will not be in vain. All of our, all our prayer it will make will be to become our president. Amen. Furthermore, I want to let you know that what is happening now is don't blame Akbabi. Akbabi is a rubber stamp to Chinimbu. You know, Akbabi did not contest that. He's seeing you upon Akbabi as a, as, a, as a Senate president. I'm from Akwa Ibom. Akbabi is my brother. Akbabi is a criminal. Akbabi is a criminal. Chinimbu is a criminal. A chief, everything. What Chinimbu knows is what Akbabi will know. 
Mm. So you cannot blame a party or say the pressurers and uh, the senators, they should agree for the uh, military to go to Niger and fight. Let me tell you, Niger have uh, with the border with Nigeria, Niger, Sokoto, Kasina, and, uh, and uh, I think Kwara. In, the, in between Kwara, there is a, because I'm a retired policeman. So what I'm trying to tell you, Nelson, that you know all these uh, Northern uh, senators, the thing affected them. It to say we share border. Uh, Niger is in the south. You know, uh, 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 senator from the north, they for sign one hand and they should go and fight. But this one, if they go to the war, you will affect them because they are intermarried. As the last defense uh, speaker said, they are intermarried. They are sharing the border, their market, and everything. All they are doing, they enter, they marry, and come out. So everything they are doing hand to hand. That is why they will not want anything to affect them. That is the purpose of rejecting that thing. If not be so, if you say they have border in the south, maybe a Dosid or, or Igbo land or uh, Shekeri or Calabar or Kwaibo, they for sign one hand to go so that you will affect us. That is the reason. That is the reason you Thank see you. that thing. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Thank you, Thank you man. Thank you, man. Yes. Hey. Come, Mama. God will open your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, another person calling from Nigeria. I need to return this call. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. You are on another call. And uh, once somebody's talking on the panel, I can't stop them. Unfortunately, but I try calling you back. Okay. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate every one of you. Give us a mandate. It's time for us to hear from you. Then we'll go back to Mr. Moses. Uh, please talk to us, sir. I thank you very much, uh, Mr. Helvis. I mean, uh, good evening to you. Good evening to everyone on your time zone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your locations, people. Um, happy Sunday. Um, thank you very much for um, always doing this. Uh, thank you very much for always doing this. Uh, we do, 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 do appreciate. Um, people on the comment section, greetings to everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, honestly, okay. I, I would have just allowed uh, maybe if uh, Pa Hike have any other thing to say. What Pa Hike just said is a clarion call to Nigerians. You see a man saying that, ah, man, sir, you, you, went, you went too deep. And that was very deep. That was what John McCain did for Donald Trump. John McCain said, if I pass away, Trump, don't even don't show up in my in my don't even show up. Don't don't call you. Don't don't show up. Don't come near. And this old man just told us tonight that even if he, even if his enemy pass away today, Tunumbu is not his president. That is how far, how deep. Ah man, sir. God bless you, sir. You are one of the elders that people should look up to. Because you give hope to the younger generation. That somebody can go as far as even his grave and say, Tunubu is not my president. That is how deep it is. Omar, Mrs. Omar, I call earlier. The meaning of Ariwola is the shout or the noise of wealth or honor. But Mrs. Omar, I changed it and said, if Justice Ariwala does not want his name to be twisted or changed from the noise of um, joy or noise of honor into the noise of pain, sorrow, tears, and crying. Should do the right thing. Nigerians are going too deep. They are going very deep now to the source of humanity to call this evil, evil, and this satanic agent, satanic agent of a truth. The man that called from Abuja and Laboyna Gaishika. The man even mentioned the, people are not scared anymore. The man even called his name. Say, my name is this. But if I catch you anywhere, I'm gonna deal with you. So this guy, they don't they don't use us, they don't they don't they don't see us finish, they don't use us do many tente. You know, those days when even boys and girls are playing tente in, in secondary school, that is what this guy they've turned us to. 
No wonder they can bring their children as scorpion to come and scourge on Niger to come and scourge Nigerians again. And Pahaik asked them question and said, "You that snatched boss ballot boxes, that bite people, that stabbed people in the face, how markets? Erufai's son is in the house of rape. He's going to be probably a chairman of, of a committee. Akala's daughter is in the house. Ibori's daughter is in the house. You that snatched ballot boxes." You that, for, that forged election results, you that they gave one dollar to do the evil in in a, in a River State, Obi Apollo government, our market, wiki, 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 in Yoruba language, wiki means mad, mad wiki, 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 he's, 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 been, he's been on the ministerial list of this thief. The man that called now from New York said, Akpabi Osme, Akpabi Ole. Akpabi Ole is, my, is his brother. That to, he knows what to know. Tunumbu knows what Akpabi knows. So you can say Tunumbu and Akpabi, they are, they are not words and opposite. They are similar. They are, synon, they are synonyms. They are the same. Akpabi Ole. Tunumbu Ole. Ariwola Ole. Atiku Ole. Erufai Ole. Bajabi Amila Ole. Festus Ole. Keyamu. Fanny, the one that likes to eat or have soup only. Rajifashola, only. Sonwoiku, only. They all, they, they know. And that's why this guy is parading. You know, Yoruba will say only. Loma Mwese, only to Lori Akpada. That is thief. Nice a bit trace the full step of a thief. It is not ordinary that this guy that was selected by Mahmoud Yakub, the professor in quotes, Selected a drug ban as a president. It's not. It is not just ordinary that he, he surrounded himself with thieves, because thieves will know how to trace thieves. They know themselves. And so my own cry now is: Nigerians, our market, channel like this we go to day, channel like this we go to day, channel like this we go remain. Now so we go remain. Even maybe their grandchildren will come and rule over you. Channel like this we go to day. Nigerians, sorry this evening, I'm not here to tell you sorry. I may live in the rest of America, I may live in America, but this renewed Shege, all of us, either one way or the other, we are benefiting from it. If I am sending $1,000 home before, I have to double it now because there's, the money cannot even buy anything. So whether you live in diaspora or you, or you live in diaspora, this renewed Shege, you are benefiting from it if you are sending money to your families. Because that means you have to send times two of us used, used, used to send. So all of us are benefiting from it, either we or the other. The only sad thing is that we are not living in Nigeria. So you, everybody all over the world, Nigerians, our market. Mr. Evis has sparked his own load. He's in Nigeria now. He's, whatever he's doing today, he's doing it from Nigeria. How much more sacrifice can a man give to do what he's doing? So you and I, our market, signal like this, we would a day. If you look your age, look my age, look Erufai's son's age, maybe it's my younger brother, or maybe my, my son is now in the house after again. Maybe his father even read the election for him, which I believe they did in Kaduna. They read the election for them. Obiak, Paul local government is an, is, 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 is an example. Shena like this, we go a day, Nigerians. The Nigerians, what, the, what Nigerians are doing is Nigerians are doing the right thing and saying, you know what, we cannot allow these thieves to, you, you see when they, when they called the finance minister, the guy was, 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 was crying, in, was crying. Shena like this, the Nigerians are working in the, in the bank that you, tomorrow morning now, you put your tie, you carry your, your, your coat or your suit, you, you enter your car, you are driving to work. Shena like this, the day where we will go allow the, the worst of us to rule us. Nigerians, if you are not enraged right now, I don't know what you are. I don't know how you are enjoying your cool. Because even if you are making one million right now, it does, it does, it, it is worthless. It is worthless. Money have no value in an in an hijack society in a, in a, in, a, in an hijack society. Money, currency 
has no value in a state capture scenario like Nigeria. Nigeria has been captured by these drug barons. But the question is, she na like this ego de day. She na like this. We do not have to beg judiciary. They went to school to study. Like you and I went to study whatever we study. You cannot beg a medical doctor and say, doctor, do the surgery right now. This doctor must do the surgery correctly because he doesn't want to end up in jail. Every doctor. It is, their, it is the ethics of their practice that they must carry out surgical operation to the best of their ability. Because that is what they went to school to, school to study for. And they, they signed. So the lawyers, they went to school to deliver through judgment in a case like this. And so begging them for me is a waste of time. I don't have to beg them. You went to study law. Evidence is mounting everywhere. You go to Orumu, local government, there is evidence. You go to Obiakpo, there is evidence. You go to Sabongiri, there is evidence. You go to Plitu, there is evidence. You go to Tafa Lewa local government now in, in Bauchi, there is evidence. Now come to Lagos, where Peter will be slapped to Numu, beat him hands down. Like rain will beat a madman. There is evidence everywhere. This case, there is no two way. There's no two way about it. Peter Obi is the president. It, there's no two way. There's no two way. Nigerians should be enraged by now, except you want to you want to cause ashes on the on the surface of Nigeria. Despite all of the evil that you guys did, this man insisted, you know what, guys, don't eat the street. We have a good case in court. And he has proven it. A mathematician came to court. Amazon web browser practitioner came to court. They brought a pastor from Redeem to come and talk about Einek. He could not lay, he could not place his hand on the, on the Bible because he knows if he does it, he may end up pining himself. A pastor from Redeem, where someone like me attend, is only a shame. Evil people, evil men. They brought him to court to come and witness for Einek. He could not place his hand on the Bible. How much more do you want God to bless the counsel of Peter Obi? They said Peter, Peter Obi counsel told him, he said, Pastor, you said you are a pastor. It would be good to come to your church. Oh. You, see, you see how people are being disgraced. Peter Obi's counsel was, was asking that evil man that came to stand for Einek, that could not lay his hand on the Bible. I wonder which parish is pastor in reading. What a sadness. What a evil. What a pain these evil men have cost us. What evil. So when Omoya is saying that, uh, keep your religion in your house, she's not missing word. She knows what, you say, what she's saying. Because you just the, you, you had a pastor, even during this election, that can go to, that can go to court. Lay your hand on the book that you read now, that you believe in. The guy could not place his hand on the Bible to swear an oath. He could not do it. Evil men, wicked men, satanic agents. No wonder. Christ said in the last day, many shall come to me and say, ah, in your name we'll do this. Now you'll tell you, I don't know you. So you may go to church. You may even claim you know God. But does God know you? You may go to church. You may sleep in church. You may even claim, oh, I know God. I am the assistant to God. But does God know you? That is what that guy did in the court. A pastor that came to stand for Einek. I am, I, I'm not judging him. I'm only saying the fact. Pastor, use Bible, use Bible swear now. He said, no, he cannot place his hand on the Bible. But you are a pastor. What, what sadness. What evil. What pain. Nigerians. Obedience. Good Nigerians. Now, now me, 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 I get talk with one of our com, one of our comrade in person of Mr. Elvis Edigin is in Nigeria for several months now. He's been in Nigeria just because of this matter. This guy will not even shut down the system. You and I waiting with the channel like this. Good day, judiciary. I no go beg you to do the right thing. I will not beg you. You know what to do. The right thing in this whole thing is that Peter will be won his election. That is the right thing to declare him as a president. It is not too much. 
You've seen the evidences. You've had the cases. You've seen everything. Yudisha, let me even ask you. Most of you voted for Peter Obi. All of the army barracks, navy barracks, police barracks, they voted overwhelmingly for, for Peter Obi. Asorok, they voted Peter Obi in Asorok. There is evidences everywhere. Tunumbu is not, uh, is not, I don't know him. I don't care to know him. I don't want to know him. I don't want to even have anything to, to, to I don't even, I deleted him from my, memo, from my memory. I don't care to know him. I don't care to know his generation. I don't care to know, I don't care to know who, who born him. I don't care, to, I don't care. He's an evil man. Evil man. Evil man. Ah! What a wickedness. And we'll sit down here and say, judiciary, judiciary, you know the right thing. Peter will be won this election. Landslide. How come all of a sudden we now begin to we now begin to talk about of, of, of Abuja? There are precedents over it. Abuja is there. Double nomination is there. For feature is there. Forgery is there. Only to number went to school as a male, as a female, came out as a male. Is that the character we want to put as our president? What an evil, what a, what an evil generation. Wealth without enterprise. Before this guy got to power, does he have any enterprise? He was in exile before he became a, a, the governor of Lagos State. And ever since then, Lagos State have, have, not, have not recovered because this guy has shown them extra shaggy. This evil incarnate, evil man. Nigerians, we cannot remain this way. Let this year, the Max 30 year of uh, 1999, end these social shenanigans. Those in the house, they are only saying nay or ye, and they make money. We that went to school, we don't make how much they make. Even though they should not be making to have, they should not be making that, that, that amount of money. They legislate bill, they do everything to their favor. And the many Nigerians they are suffering. This evil man, satanic agents like Mr. Evis who call them. Nigerians, we cannot remain, we cannot continue like this. Our children should not serve their children. Hey, no. 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 It should not be. James Ibori should be rotting in jail by now. He should be in jail. James Ibori should be in jail. James Ibori is being is a chief. James Ananefe Ibori should be in jail. His daughter is in the house. She may end up being a committee chairman in the house. Igbenedion, most of them, they should rot in jail. They should rot in jail. Because there are no consequences, like Mr. Evans would say, that there should be a capital punishment. That's why a man like Obaseki, you can be stuck in the muddy water. And ever after you were stuck in that muddy water, you didn't even sit down and say, ah, guys, come on. Imagine if I was if he was lynched in that muddy water. I think we need to fix this road. Obaseki has not sat down with anybody, he has not sat down with, with this, with this, with this, with the, with the member of the house in Edo State and say, ah, the last time we were stuck in muddy water, I think Julius Baja is not quarreling with Edo State. Let's fix our roots. Obaseki has not said this, has not said anything about, about, about that. That means they have short memories. They all have short memories. They are just for the now, they don't think about the future. It took Oji Okwe to say that, oh, this guy, even being stuck in this muddy water, can, is a security threat. The one that was stuck in the muddy water never, never thought it was, a, it was a threat to his life. The road that, would, that he was stuck in, he has not called anybody, his member, to come and sit down and determine how they are going to fix the roads in those states. Great Uniben, great Uniben. I remember growing up, writing jump, deciding to go to school. Uniben is one of the schools that you will you, you, you envy. 
today, all of those schools, they become glorified secondary school because of this evil men that enjoy free education. Now they are killing the education system in Nigeria. Evil men. Nigerians, she na like this, ego de day. We cannot continue like this. We, if, if the Nigerians, Nigerians, Nigerians can stand and say their country must get better, we can do better than the Nigerians. We are Nigerians. We are regarded as a giant of Africa. So we can do better. And we should do better. Because all eyes on Nigeria. Go anywhere in the world. As far as Papua New Guinea, you will find Nigerians there. More so, Igbos, you will find them there. You will find them there. So, my people, we need to we 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 need we need we need we need to we, we need to do the the the, the 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 needful. This mandate must be given to the rightful owner. Peter Obi, the man from Anambra, His Excellency Peter Gregory Obi, GCFR, won this election on a landslide. He won it. He won the election. He won the election. So we need to arise. We need, and what they are trying to do is that they are trying to dear Nigerians and say, okay, let's maybe let's even try this and, and see what is going to happen. But well, we can tell them. We can we can we can we can decide how we want things to go in our country. Enough is enough. Nigerians now even we, we prefer the old the old days than the than, than than now when countries of the world are looking to the future we will say oh ah in those days in those days in those days in those days only in Nigeria you will leave a place for ten for ten years you go back there that same place has deteriorated because of this evil and satanic men in power all of these thieves evil incarnates. Judiciary, I will not beg you. You know the right thing. The right thing to do is deliver justice for my president, His Excellency, Peter Gregory Obi Diokute, one of Nigeria, GCFR. He won the election. Peter Obi won the election. Ariwola, to ba di fe di ariwo epe abi ariwo ariwo eba ariwo eba nu je abari wa danu do the right thing to ba di fe di ariwo epe do the right thing a se npon yin le an pe oni ariwo la to ba di fe di ariwo adanu abari wo ofo do the right thing do the right thing to ba di fe di ariwo ekun do the right thing do the right thing service all panelists i thank you for always doing this it has not been easy by now we all should have been celebrating but these guys they they, they are daring nigerians but we will not allow them thank you very much for allowing me to speak thank you very much for listening god bless you god bless nigeria and god bless our nation thank you very much mr elvis Thank you. Thank you. Uh, give us a mandate, my brother. Thanks for your submission. Um, for me, I understand that we, we I call this overtime. We are doing overtime right now, but we will certainly smile at the end of the day. You know, two things involved right now. Judiciary, do the right thing or leave Nigerians with no choice. You know, whatever happens then, like I've always said, I have a I have the power to control what my panelists will say. I don't have the power to control what Nigerians will do. That's it. Thank you very much, my people. Let's uh, uh, let me go back to the everybody to quickly give their final submission. So we round up, Mr. Moses. Thank you very much. Uh, you were the first today on the panel. I'd like you to give us. Um, we're just gonna do for five minutes now, so we can round up. Thank you, sir. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Five minutes. Final submission, sir. So what I want to tell everyone is everyone to stand for truth. 
and we should stay in speaking the truth. The level of corruption in Nigeria today is so high. And today, even among the youth, the level of corruption is very high. Look at what happened in the election. I know they gave those IT guys money. It's some people that they gave money. Even it's people like me. Only the election of Because I'm not going to collect bribe from you. I'm not going to speak out because I know you cannot do anything for me. I have done it in many complaints. Expose the managers, their workers. When I when I go to the complaint, I don't care. So what I tell people, everyone should stand for the truth. All the people that are doing fraud in their say in the business, they employed you, you steal money, they just call me for a recent there is one case almost 60 million naira. The work has stolen from the company. It is part of this one we're talking about. Because by the such kind of people, if politicians give them money, they will compromise. So what I want to tell everyone that is listening, all the person that watch this video, you should, you should, as from today, you to hold into, into righteousness, hold into truth. Let us stop all this nonsense, stealing. Whether you don't, whether you don't, whether you steal, whether you don't steal, you will get to where you are going. All what we are talking about starts from individual. Let individual check his or her own hands and let us change. Let change come from individual. And I want to use this opportunity to talk to our, my Yoruba people. Yoruba are too selfish. One kilo cut here, she be one okay. Why, 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 are you, why are you talking? Why are you, why, why, why are you fighting? That is not a good, that is not a good thing. So because I'm okay, what of other people that are poor, poor that surrounded me? If the poor are not, if people that surrounded me are not okay, I'm not okay. Because that is the reason why many people, many of them go and many of them go and vote for Tinubu, support, support, uh, supported Tinubu. I not see the suffering, see what is happening now. See how you are suffering now. And we must find a way they should remove this man. Yes, Nigeria will continue to suffer. If they did not remove this man, I saw suffer next in his regime. So that is the reason why we must find a way to fight. And that's why I'm calling everyone now. If you know that your ways are not okay, that you, you must amend your way now. And so you, the fighting we are fighting, we are going to, so we'll be able to prosper. Yes, Nigeria will now see that disobeying God. I told people, until you obey God, nothing will change in this country. Until you obey God. You go back to that God, but you obey him. If you don't obey God, things will continue like this. Because when some people go and collect money from them because a little you want to hit, people know me very well. I'm, I'm up to do all these politicians. They know me. There is a time I really, there is a time I don't know, there is a conflict between me and the brother of Mayoshi. I talk on phone. Me, I don't care. The message I sent to him is very, is, is very, is very, is very great message. Me, I don't care. But only thing I stand for is truth. And the only thing I'm telling people, the Bible says, the thing that exhausted a nation is truth. A nation who set aside the truth and righteousness will always be like this. 
God is interested in all nations of the world. So let every one of us, everyone, whether you are Muslim or you are Christians, let us hold into good things. Let us hold into good things. Let us hold it. Let us hold it seriously. And you will see that it shall be way for our country. It shall be way for every one of us. It will, it, will, it will be very, very, very better for us. We will enjoy the country. Because Nigeria, we have resources. We have resources. Thank you. I told people, there is nothing I want to be praying for for this country. Because you have a good land, you have oil, you have a good weather, there is no earthquake. So what do you want me to pray for? You are the problem Thank of this nation. We are the you. problem of this nation. Thank you, Mr. Moses. Thank you very much for your submission. Um, Sorry that I have to cut you right there. Uh, your words are powerful. I really do appreciate you. You know, looking forward to having you uh, more frequently on the panel where a lot of people can learn from your submission. Thank you very much. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Angina Francis, thank you very much, sir, for your uh, patience. You know, I'd like you to give us your final five minutes so that we can round up the show. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Tinubu, Elijah Tinubu, I assume that you love Nigeria, or I want to hope that you love Nigeria. If you love Nigeria, not the Nigerian money or the equivalent in dollars or euros, but Nigeria, when you look out through the window and see those people roaming up and up and down the streets, those Nigerians, do you love the country? If you do, sit down and have one of those elderly uh, thought moments where you put your hand, you hold your shin, uh, you hold your the side of your head with your hand and think, are you, you, Tinubu, are you good for these people? If you will be truthful to yourself and honest to yourself, I'm quite sure you will say no, that you are really doing them bad. But if you're not capable of doing that, let me bring this other one to you. Whenever you are confronted with a problem in that position, that office, please let your first instinct not be, how much money am I getting from it? And let your first instinct not be, let me use Agueros to solve the problem. No. Please think like an elder that will sit down and advise the young kids on how to do things. If it's a situation that you probably are hung between two decisions, you can invoke the advice or the input of some of those people that have been through that office. There's Obasanjo, you can speak Yoruba with him. There's uh, uh, Buari, there's Jonathan, you know, you, there's Babangida, you can call any of them. But please stop making this rush to judgment kind of things. Do you see how you were just about ready to go and finish our young generation in Niger on a sound, I guess, on the back or canopy of ECOWAS? That's nonsense. And then you are probably thinking, 
that the French said, oh, that they will provide all the air support and everything, so they will bring all their aircrafts and even their foot soldiers to do it, that we will just be there in name only. But who are they finishing? How about what I said earlier? How about if those uh, hunters get smart and they know those areas that these French soldiers will hit by air, how about if they go to those IDP camps in India that they even helped us? How about if they go there and carry those people and use them as human shields in those places? So when the airstrike hits, it will be Nigerians that will be finished. You know, when you do things, now that you are assuming that position of a state man, please, before you hand it over to P2B, don't mess up the country. That's not how to do it. It's not a must that you must finish the country so that when P2B gets it, it will now be a, a very hard uh, repair. So I beg you, but that is on the level I can go with you. But the real level is on Thank the you. judiciary. Uh, Chief Justice, please, whatever you do, if you turn justice upside down, and let's say I walk down the street in the future and encounter any of your descendants, I'll break a bottle of beer on their heads. Stand for the right thing so that your future generations will earn and enjoy that respect. Help Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Gina Francis. God bless you, sir. Thank you. All right, uh, Mr. Ike, we're back to you again. Your final five minutes, sir, so we can round up. Thank you, sir. You need to unmute yourself. Yes, sorry for that. Thank you. Um, yes, thank you, my brother. Um, well, I want to close um, with two Two, two things, one for the members of the National Assembly, um, more especially the senators and members of the House of Representatives that is elected under the Labour Party, including the People's Democratic Party and all the oppositions. <clears throat> um, I want to remind all of you that if any of you should put your vote in going to fight in Niger, I will advise you before you put your vote, you go home, you bring your children in school, your family, your brothers and sisters, those that are up to 18, 20 years above or 18 years above. Get them ready, inscribe them into the Nigerian army, get them ready to go to Niger to fight for you because they are not fighting for the majority of Nigerians. We don't want to know what Ababio and his man is trying to do. But don't be part of it. Don't be party to whatever decision they want to make. Because the consequences will come back to haunt you for the rest of your life. So if you know what is good for you, we have voted for you. We send you there to serve the people. We have not sent you to the National Assembly to go and cause war in another country or get involved or get engaged in fighting a war that has no meaning to any Nigerian. So I am letting you people to know that our eyes are on you. And more especially, the people, those Labour Party National Assembly members we elected that they have closed their mouth like they used cellotape to gum their mouth. We are watching all of you. All of you that you rode on the back of Mr. Peter Obi to be going to the National Assembly, think you think the obedient movement, you think we are fools. No, we are not. But we are watching you. But I'm telling you, as long as your mouth is closed with a cellotape, that just know that we are, we, are, we, are, we are waiting for you in your villages and your towns and your communities because we did not send you there to get 70 billion. 
to buy bulletproof car. That is not the reason why we voted for you. We voted for you to serve your people. It doesn't matter where the locality you came from. Our vote for you was to make an impact to the life of your people. Because the man you rode on his back, the man that Nigerians want, the man the whole world want to rule Nigeria said, go and verify. If you're to the National Assembly, your work is not to go and verify. We are telling you that we are, we are watching you. Because we are going to help you more with a bigger solo tape to tie your mouth and your hands and your legs because you will never go back. So we are watching you. And to the judiciary, let me assure you that 200 million Nigerians are solidly behind you. You, the judiciary, can end the political corruption that is going on in Nigeria by trying to restore the credibility of the judiciary. This is your chance. This is the last opportunity you have to redeem your name, the image of Nigerian judiciary. Because by the time you do what is right, politicians will know that you will never go to court and run away from being guilty to the offense you have committed. So we are telling you, I am telling you, that this is an opportunity for you to redeem your image, do the right thing, restore your image, recover the, the, the respect you have lost around the world. The world are watching. Kenyan people are watching you. Kenya is watching you. The citizens of Kenya are watching you, the judges at the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal. Do the right thing. Change the course of Nigerian political landscape that people will not be going to court to go and get an, a victory of an election they did not win. And those that did not contest election to become leaders and political leaders in a national assembly. This is your chance. This is the last chance we are giving you. If you miss it, sorry, we are going to help you to bury the Nigerian judiciary forever. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. And I wish everybody the best of the new week. And we hope to be here tomorrow by God's grace. Thank you, Brother Elvis, for what you do. May the Lord continue to be your strength. Good night, everybody, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ike. Thanks for coming around today. I appreciate you always. Uh, thank you. I want to use this opportunity to thank everybody for your time with us today. Uh, it's been a long day. Thank God that we've managed to fulfill Another wonderful day. We're looking forward to tomorrow. It came by the special grace of Almighty God. Thank you, everybody that came to the panel today. Thank you very much for your time with us. I really do appreciate you all. I'm not taking none of you for granted. Those of you that called in, thank you as well. For those of you that could not pick your calls, understand with us tomorrow, you know, I believe we'll also pick your calls. We are not deliberately ignoring anybody's call. We pick calls randomly. Please understand with us. It's not too easy right here. Uh, those of you that supported us financially, we have uh, Mary Fordy, Peggy Modi, Amaka Fojebi. Thank you very much. And I'm bright that just came in. Not that not, not quite long. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all. Your pocket never ever run dry. Thank you very much, my people on the comment section right there. Mother of all, Mommy Diaspora. Thank you very much, Mommy. We love you. Uh, thank you, Mother Patricia Tagujumi. Although we missed you earlier uh, throughout today. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, Madam Irene. Thank you very much uh, for being there. I appreciate you, Madam Martina Ambassador TV. I appreciate you too. Thank you very much. I can see uh, Chris Dublin. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, Peg Modi. Thank you, Tony Africa. I can see right there. Thank you. God, God bless every one of you. Obejulu. Thank you very much, Michael Oganemaro. God bless you also. I appreciate every one of you right there. Royalty. I can see you. Thank you very much. He said thanks, Mr. Elvis. God bless you. Bless you, really good for your good work. True. Thank you, Wash. He Peter Obi is coming. Yes, certainly coming. Thank you very much. I appreciate every one of you. Pius Moye, I can see you as well. Thank you, thank you, my people. Frank O. I'm a bright. Thank you very much, madam. Once again, I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, yeah, now go drop the, um, you know, the, draw the curtain. I appreciate every one of you. I'll, by the special grace of God, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. You know, tomorrow is Monday that we can take it uh, from where we stop. Thank you, thank you. <laughs>